In a little more than two hours time, it will be sun up and the dawning of a new day in the land of the rising sun, Monday, April the 12th. Meantime, here in Georgia at sunset, Hideki Matsuyama could be wearing the green jacket. The skies are clearing. It's Sunday at the Masters. The spring pastels are prominent. And this canvas coat designed by Bobby Jones and Alistair McKenzie is all set for another day of history. This is some of the early action. John Rahm into the first. Nearly hold it. After three consecutive rounds of 72, the Spaniard is making birdies on this Sunday. Spectacular second shot at number two. He made that putt for Eagle. On Thursday, Tommy Fleetwood made a hole in one at the 16th. This is at the sixth today. Oh. 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 Yeah. It's breezy as the front that came crashing in on us yesterday is now starting to leave the area at last. A few remnants of clouds remain. We should be bathing in sunshine late in the afternoon as Matsuyama is set to once again be paired with Xander Shoffley in the final pairing at 240. Sir Nick Faldo will be alongside. Ian Baker Finch calls the action at 17. Vern Lundquist at 16. Masters winner Trevor Immelman is at 15. Andrew Catalan at the 14th. Frank Nabilo down on the opening legs of Amen Corner. And Dottie will be following the pairing of Matsuyama and Shoffley. And Amanda Balionis will be around for the post round interviews. Let's go out to the play at the 16th. And the tee shot of Paul Casey. Not quite enough to come back down the hill, but excellent shot. Close in for a birdie. And we go to seven. And John Rahm just off the fairway on the left side. Birdie Eagle start for Rahm as you saw. And that one is going to hop in the front bunker. Seventh hole played as the most difficult hole on the golf course yesterday. Going through his warm up Hideki after that 65 on Saturday that included playing the last eight holes out of the weather delay six under par. His last win was at a World Golf Championship event in Akron Ohio and Firestone Country Club in 2017. That was 93 competitions ago for Hideki. Let's bring in Nick and talk about that performance yeah. after the hour and 18 minute delay in which he said he spent time in his car going through his phone and messages. <laughs> I don't know what the trick was but he was a different player out of the break. Well they had the opportunity to stop the golf ball Jim and it hope you were watching and saw how really the screens were slow but Hideki had no problems at all. Six under for eight holes, which included three putting the 13th. When he made that eagle, you just saw at 15. That's when he took the lead at nine under. Then he backed it up with this at 16. And then at 17, off that birdie. Yeah, after 10 years of experience, he knows the spots to leave it. This is just classic. You go past the pin at 17. He leaves a lovely, easy, straight up the hill putt. And that putt for birdie. But there was another highlight to come. Mm. From the walking path behind the 18th, 
Look at this touch. This is this is when you're completely in the zone. You're able to pull off shots like that. The final hole par securing the only bogey free round of this tournament. That scorecard just take a look. He had hit his tee shot at 11 when the horn sounded. He had driven it way right into the trees. His first shot coming back was a low punch fade that he got within 20 feet at 11, made the putt for birdie, and off he went. As you said, Nick, even with a three putt par at the 13th. So he's the man to beat. He leads by four over four others here in the final round of the 2021 Masters. It's a feeling unlike any other. At a place unlike any other. Maybe. Yes, sir! A lifelong dream achieved. Got a chance, yes! With an outpouring of emotion Got it. that has become a tradition. What a comeback. If you're going to do it, do it right. The long awaited Masters has a long awaited champion. It's hard to talk. Today, a familiar scene returns. Golf's ultimate pursuit continues with reassuring echoes and the triumph of spring. This is still Augusta National where hope springs eternal, where the tapestry includes the cheers and the celebrated champions, and where questions find answers. I don't know what to say at the moment. Even Ooh. though the words it might not always come out. Well, uh, <laughs> I can't even talk. The tradition continues at the Masters. From the Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, CBS Sports proudly presents the Masters. It's the 85th edition, 60 years ago yesterday. Gary Player became the first international champion at Augusta. In its history, 11 countries have produced a Masters champion. Australia to Argentina, Germany to Fiji, from South Africa to Canada, England, Scotland and Wales, and from Spain to the USA. But never has Japan, a golf crazed country, had a Masters winner to celebrate. And that could all change today. Here he is live going through again his final prep, his tea time less than a half hour away. Matsuyama, who has been ranked at one time in his career as high as second in the world, and has finished in the top six of all four majors. 29-year-old who first came here in 2011 is the Asian Pacific Amateur Champion, and at 19, won low amateur honors and was recognized here in Butler Cabin, where he could be recognized once again later today if he's able to carry on the play of yesterday and take the title. We're on the tee live at the first now. Jordan Spieth about to get his round started. 
He's going to begin this day six off the lead. Toby Wilt is the starter at the first. Four, please. Jordan Spieth now driving. Heading to the trees. Will it get there? Just short. Just remember what he did, the late run he had in 2018. Ryan Harmon now driving. Georgia native, past U.S. junior winner. Spieth in 2018 frantically tried to catch Patrick Reed on Sunday. He ended up shooting 64, clipped a tree off the tee at 18, made bogey as he was flirting with the course record, tying it or breaking it. And who knows? Wild things happen here on Sunday. It's expected. There's something <laughs> you don't know what it could be. Might happen. Let's go to the seventh. And John Rahm out of the bunker. Nicely done. Has that left for par at seven. Rom is tied for the best round on the course right now at three under par along with Paul Casey to two. Masters champion Patrick Reed for Eagle here at the second. And that is the fifth Eagle today. The normal hole location here on Sundays at the Masters. 13 and Bryson. Around the corner and only 160 in. Yeah, quite a few of the par five hole locations that golf ball will gather. There's plenty of room, as you can see here. So those are very much the, the scoring holes today. 16. And Paul Casey's bid for a fourth consecutive birdie. Four in a row, 13, 14, 15, and 16. We go back to seven. And Rom has this left for his par. He has shot 72 each day. Only four players in tournament history have shot the same score each day, but so far, Rom is three under on his round. Up to 18. Jose Maria, 55 years old. Making the cut with a 71 on Friday, and come on now. Mm -hmm. yeah. How great is that? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Two time yeah. Masters winner, Nick, who had not made a cut in any competition worldwide since 2015. Not that he plays yeah. that much competitively these days, but everybody overjoyed to see him play well this week. Back very, in. very respectable score for over 50s. For the eagle putt now at 13. This is giving us a good glimpse today of how many eagles are possible. Xander Shockley played the par fives in five under yesterday. If some of those chasing guys can do exactly that and put some pressure on this gen young gentleman. It uh, will get very tight and tense this afternoon. Yeah. I like that he's just a nice simple outfit. He has some crazy colored outfits, but you know, just a nice little white and yellow, obviously gust of colors. So nothing too outrageous. I think we must keep things quiet and calm as possible, Jim. Hmm. You wonder what he's internalizing, Nick, as you see the pairing here of Spieth and Harmon. Next up will be Zalatoris with Corey Connors. 
and then Leishman and Rose who led after days one and two. And then finally the final pair again matched together yesterday. I can promise you Jim whatever he is internalizing I wouldn't be able to understand <laughs> <laughs> like many of us. <laughs> How about the anxiety. Yeah that's going to be that's up there that's probably at about 80 percent right now. As soon as you get on, get on the golf course it, it will come down. Harmon into the first. In its traditional little bowl and you saw John Rahm in that highlight he caught it perfectly and that's obviously on the high side. A pretty good shot from back there his his awkward wind at one left to right into him and ball will land on the upslope so yep. it will not release very far. Absolutely fantastic drone shot there of the direction he's got to play. He's got a good angle doesn't yeah. appear to have any limbs that are an issue. Most, most important. Carry. Go. Yeah. Well he said it didn't jump and it went long Go so work that one out. Wow that's a there's a putt for openers. Looked like he was trying to keep that shot below one of those limbs after all as we go back to the seventh. And Webb Simpson is even par on his round so far today. Nick historically the seventh has played as the tenth most difficult hole but so far this week. Yeah. The third most difficult. Why the big difference? Down downwind. We basically had very similar wind. This is the same wind as day one. So seven downwind. It's the narrowest green from front to back on the golf course. And uh, as you, day one was rock hard. Day two and three a little softer. But we're back to a and a, again a very awkward narrow hole location on that right side. The field was plus thirty. At the seventh yesterday only two birdies the entire third round. Up to 17. Paul Casey is on a run he's had four birdies in a row but in a little trouble here. Left side of 17. You can see the flag blowing right to left and helping. Try and hit a big high draw. Started the day at four over. Oh Ian. Ooh. Oh no. That's the problem. I mean, you just cannot attempt to get all the way back at that to that whole location. That is so difficult yeah. to that whole location. That'll be uh, an interesting pitch there to try and save his par. And here yeah. he comes. Nice raised smile. Hideki has a home in the Orlando area in Windermere. All of his family is back watching in Japan. Yeah Japan is 13 hours ahead of uh, this east coast of America. What do you expect from Jordan today Nick. Well with the difficult conditions I mean he's got to try and make something happen he's just a little obviously further back than the than the seven under you've got to believe that they have a obviously slightly better chance but he must be thinking wow how quickly can I get to 10 under that would be a really good start so can't make mistakes. That's the hardest thing because it's literally impossible uh, we only had one bogey free round and that was Hideki yesterday so you're going to have a blemish or two so that means you've got to somehow make a bunch of birdies and not here I w would assume it. this would be <laughs> please can I two putt this and I'll try and make it maybe a three down the second. This is going to go away. Yeah, struggling to get over the hill. That one. So well, he's going to have to grind out a four here from 
about 10 feet away. Let's get back to the first tee. Four, please. Will Delatoris now driving. This guy's delighted us with the simplicity. It's basically look at the target, swing, ball lands there. Be aiming left to center, trying to cut it back on that into the right, left to right wind. Pretty close to where Speed drove it. Corey Connors now driving. Four, please. One of the most consistent ball strikers this week. It's gotten better every day, Nick. Yeah. 73, 69, 68. Just needs one play like that on one putting round of his life. You never know. That was sweet, wasn't it? They're not very long. It is a bit of a the first is a brute. They've moved the tees up at one, Nick, every day. It played its longest on Thursday every day. They've crept up just a bit. Let's get back to the green. Harmon for birdie. It'll be a stress-free par for him. Let's go to three. already tapped in now for par. Well, unfortunately, exactly what he didn't need at the first. Uphill grind now. Yep. It's got a 17. And the difficult chip we were trying to explain here, bump it into the bank, one check it onto the green. Oh, it propped, Nick. That's so steep in, got to go for a couple of bounces up that hill. So that left for par as we go to 15. And DeChambeau after a big drive in perfect position here. Wind swirling. This is a six iron on the way. Will it stay? Probably not. And there it goes. Just got caught up into that swirling wind, ballooned a little bit, and now in the water. Bryson's still trying to figure out the recipe to play his best golf around Augusta National. Back to seven. Phil Mickelson in the fairway, 142 yards in. 26th made cut this week for Phil. That's the sixth most all time. Oh, many a year that has had a little bit of spin and brought it back down into the bowl. Phil's asking for yeah. it. Phil would know exactly where <laughs> to place it on every green here. To two. If he could go on and win today, Brian Harmon would become the fifth left-handed major champion and the fourth to win at the Masters, along with Weir, Mickelson and Watson. But that finds the sand. It's 300 yards to reach that bunker. 320 past it. Now Casey for par. Started the day four over. This to remain even. Oh, it's so slippery up there in that back corner. We'll see a lot of that today. Disappointing bogey at the first for Jordan. Yep. Been working on trying to get the club out in front of him, as we call it, golf in terms, not stuck behind him. Oh, 
it's got to oh, be. Oh, that's not good this year. It yeah. Very quick down into the gully below, down the left. Wow, looks like one putt and one driver might be the end of Jordan's day. Yeah, Pretty that, harsh, isn't it? That is not a very good spot down the left. It's fairway all the way to the pine straw and then a very steep bank. Up the putting green, just uh, behind the first tee. The amount of pressure on this man's shoulders carrying the weight of Japan to one. Here's Connors. If you, oh, I was going to say, oh, stay up there if you can. Damn. Right to the flag. Golfer's right. The flag is the easier shot, easier putt. On Salad Torres. Well, go. it's going to go. Oh, Shot. tried his best to get it to release. Well, Casey tempt in for Pogi, Salatoris, and Connors both on the green at one. Let's get ahead to the 16th. And here is Tyrrell Hatton. He's chasing his fourth birdie in a row. Oh. Well, we had Tommy Fleetwood with an ace in the first round. Hatton, very close. Here at 15 off the Chambos penalty drop. This is the fourth shot. And just hasn't quite been able to get any momentum this week. And while power is an advantage at Augusta National, it's not the only thing you need yeah. to win around here. Accuracy is the premium, isn't it? Quite a day for the putt doctor. Dr. Craig Farns who have helped Dustin Johnson win last year and worked with Hideki last June and uh, gave him a few drills and told him to get that handle, the grip up a little higher. It was always regarded as the, the weak spot in his game. Yeah. Well, he had such wonderful tempo, like a metronome for a while. And then he messed around with things. As we know, he changed his tempo in his golf swing, had that pause, a full, flat-out pause at the top. And even he didn't like it. I remember talking to him because he had a fabulous wedge shot somewhere, and I said, great swing. He said, I kind of, I know. I, how does that compare to your other game? And he flat-out said, I, I want to get rid of the pause. So obviously he's been able to do that, but occasionally gets obviously quite aggressive, violent on the follow-throughs, and it, Sunday is all about tempo, isn't it? To stick your golf swing together. He can join, by the way, a most prestigious list. Those who have been low amateur and later won a master, starting with Doc Middlecoff, Kerry Middlecoff. Jack did it. So too did Ben. Tiger, 95 low amateur, 97 in his professional debut, he won. Phil and Sergio, those who have been low amateur and later won the green jacket. Let's go out to the eighth. Oh, and John Rahm, who's having a fantastic round of golf today. Bangs it in. That's a good confidence stroke. So two birdies and an eagle on the card. Four under par. He's now up there into the contention, sort of lurking at one. So Connor's putt goes about a foot and a half past. Let's make that a little longer than that. Now that you look at it from that angle. What a day he had yesterday, Nick, with a hole in one at the sixth. Old Jordan might have caught a little well, break over it too, Ian. I certainly think so. That's a, that's a huge break. You know, Nick, don't you? What can happen down the left there oh, too? Wow, well, look at that for a break. I mean, I assume that hit a, a tree and popped out, and now he can try and swoop a draw around the corner. 
while we wait there. That. He's waiting. We'll go back to the first. Four, please. Mark Leishman now driving. Long ago, 09, the PGA Tour Rookie of the Year. When he's won out here, he's had some amazing final round comeback wins. In his wins, he shot on Sunday 62, 69, 67, 65, and 65. So he has a track record for making up ground and winning. And slings a nice little low fade out there most of the time. Justin Rose now driving. Yeah, Justin struggled with the driver closing yesterday, so uh, can we just go in with three metal? I think. I'm not he had some ridiculous up and downs and saves yeah. coming in yesterday, but it seems like it's been a little more of a struggle yeah. each day for him. Yeah, hold it closer to 20 feet the last for par. Be chopped up into the wind, and it won't won't get that. So yeah, there's the look at the flags. It is straight hard left to right into him at one. Doesn't look it on that scene, but look at the master scoreboard there. Okay, back at one's out Taurus for birdie. Oh, what a start! Let's go back to two. Blind shot to that uh, green way down the bottom of the hill. Needs a similar shot to the drive. Is it hooking enough? Well, he certainly had the distance, but not enough hook. But if he can get past the edge of the bunker, though, Ian, he, yeah. he's got a decent pitch and run. Yes, and uh, also the wind might be assistance as well. 16. And here's Tyrrell Hatton. Well, he matches the previous effort of Paul Casey. That is four in succession. And he moves to one under. Let's go to 18. And Paul Casey has this for birdie for a round of 68. Get a read of this putt just in case somebody needs to hold it for the win. Yeah, we'll see that one a few times yeah. today, Nick. <laughs> I did a 360 around that whole location, and, you know, it visually, it always looks like it should break, but it generally runs flatter than what you, what you see, which is tough when you're looking, when you're looking for fractions. I guess that's what's the... <laughs> we'll wind a, f a few players up by the end of the day. He was just in the fourth pairing out and shows us what can be done. Round of 69. Hideki stepping up to the first tee, talking to Nashville's Toby Wilt. We'll get him started as the final round coverage continues on CBS. Justin Rose at the first. Going left. Yeah, but just, just, oh, that's it. There's a big we'll runoff scoop here. out the side of that yeah. green, and that will be down a good four feet plus to the green surface. Back to two. Third shot for Brian Harmon. Normally awesome around the greens. What a tough competitor. 108 yards that with a sand wedge. Just a fraction too much spin to get that bounce into the hill and then sling around to the right. Back to the first. And Mark Leishman's got a good look at it. The 
Oh, for a natural fader, he'd be really disappointed at that one. There's the pressure, even though it's the first hole. Meanwhile, back at the second. Yes, uh, as we were suggesting, Nick, over in the third fairway. Well, good angle. <laughs> He's played the odd pitch and run before. <laughs> <laughs> not Betty, not many better no. with the wedges than these two today. Over at 15. South African Louis Oerste's in second shot. Aimed well left there, trying to hit some kind of high cut. And there you go. It is amazing after the rains yesterday afternoon how much this green has softened. Maybe a sign of things to come. Back to two. Oh, great angle. So just the par for Brian Harmon. Par, par, start, remains four under par. You really want to be one under through three, I think. Would be considered a good start. Nine. All right, John Rahm comes here four under through his first eight. Yeah, comes up a little short of number nine. And they got a bit of a crunchy bounce in that second bounce. Very difficult nine downwind with that front left hole location. Back at two and Ian, the odyssey that Jordan's been on here at the second reminds me of what he did yesterday at the eighth. <laughs> yes, that was the most amazing shot. I think at the time I said if he goes on to win, that will be the one he remembers the most. Or that chip from behind 15 on Thursday that went in that could quite easily have found the water. But there he goes. It's a birdie. A lucky break from the tee. But is he just a little too far back at five under? Let's go back to the first. Well, we're 30 seconds away from sending off Shafley and Matsuyama. What's he feeling right now, Nick? Well, an awful lot. <laughs> it is a clear pitch. The most important thing in this game is to know exactly what you want to do. You know how to do it, and a couple of deep breaths, and he's ready to go. Four, please. Hideki Matsuyama now driving. Japan has had two women who have won major championships. But a Japanese man has never won a major. There have been some great players through the years. Goodness. Straight right. Hang on. Because it's firm in the trees that will kick further to the right, and that's. Oh boy. Xander Shopley now driving. Two years ago, T2 here. With Dustin and Kepka behind Tiger's triumph. He's had eight second place finishes since his last victory.
little bit of body English for that fade and lovely top of the hill perfect angle drove beautifully yesterday didn't he Jim oh yeah he was so solid and so respected by his fellow professionals all of them would tell you they expect him yeah to be able to win a, an event like this it wouldn't surprise anyone well he's definitely the danger man obviously playing with Hideki is going to be a huge advantage for him Back up ahead at one here's Rose first it's a little hot a little not bad not bad and Leishman will be attempting basically the same shot first we go to two and the young Canadian Corey Connors in his fourth start at the Masters. This one looks good. Will it keep feeding down the slope? No, it stays barely on top. That was so close to being next to the pin. Back to the first. Well, Leishman going the lower route. Ah, and even hotter. Hmm. No, oh well. Looks like he's going to give Rose a read. With that hole location in the ball, I thought one of them would get it very close. Okay, here's the ball belongs to Matsuyama. As we pan up, we'll give you an idea what he faces. And it's not ideal. Not as bad as I thought. I mean, his bush is a little further to the right. I mean, he, he can play a punch and run and get it somewhere safe front of the green and chip and putt. Nick, I think there's an outside shot. He could get that ball up around the front left bunker, yeah. but the ball's going to have to stay very low for the first 45 to 50 yards. Now Leishman on the green at one. It's been... Oh, I was going to say it'd been exceptionally good from 10 feet and in. And drops him back to six under. That Zalatoris birdie is looking very good now with uh, players dropping shots at the first. And here he is at two. Wonderful ball striker, Will Zalatoris, as good as there is. Finds the front right bunker. Remember, he was tied sixth at the U.S. Open at Winged Foot at the end of last year. Yeah, that's how he got his exemption into the Masters. Rose goes also the other side. Goes the, the other side, Jim. Mm -hmm. On nine for par, Ram. All right. Does it give away one after this hot start that included that eagle at two. 32 first nine to 15. Jason now trying to convert and make that eagle. That one just slides by the right side, but he's on a little run here with birdies at 13, 14 and 15. Remember, lost out to Bubba Watson in the playoff back in 2012. Back to one. His eyes are looking at the direct route, Dotty. Straight at the flag. That shot gave you a pretty good idea. The breeze is out here, as you yeah. see, also the flag. Ripping. It has just come up. Uh, the biggest, really, the gust since I've been out on the golf course out uh, last hour and a half. That is the skinniest route, the one that's directly at the flag. Yeah, but keep your eye, head down on this. Don't, no peeking on this. Did. Did a little bit. Head was up quick, wasn't That's it? Understandably. <laughs> actually turned out quite well. Yeah. From about 40 to the front. Yeah, I don't know. That's a that's an awkward distance to get some spin on it. Back to two. Oh, one of those bunker shots, but you can use the bank to the left. Beautifully played. 
If he could go on and win today at 24, he would include in that list of uh, young champions of Woods, Spieth, Ballesteros and Nicholas to win under 25 at the first. Xander and his buddy Austin discussing things. That's an eight iron in his hands, Jim. That breeze still as strong as it was when Hideki hit from the left. Must be in the air 148 to get on the proper level. Mm. Okay, the better angle coming straight up the gully. Probably a little disappointing to an eight on in your hand. So the last four players to start the round missed the green at one. Let's go to two. For Eagle. Trying to become the second Canadian to win here. His idol Mike Weir back in 03. The first left handed to win. Started a run, didn't he? Mike's been in his ear to. Give him some words of encouragement. Really humble, quiet young man, very similar to the mold set by Mike Weir as well. Over at one. Well, Daddy, what's he going to face here with his third? He's got just inside 30, I correct myself, to the front. And I think very wisely he's walked up here, Jim, to get a feel of how firm or not. The greens are. I think the smart play is just a little left of it. Must fly it on top. Yeah, get it on top, and they're looking for that backstop, which is useful. Well, we get set for him to play his third. Let's get to two. Well, we saw Spieth in a similar place. Pretty fast and straight. Yes, sir. Birdie, birdie. What a start. Especially, oh my goodness! Yeah, Nick. my goodness! Especially if Hideki doesn't get up and down. There's a great view of that. The false front got to land it right on top of it, skid it forward, and go past the flag. Turn it around, maybe get an eight or ten footer from behind it. Yeah, that, that's the simplest putt, certainly, and I think the the safest third. Just a test your nerve ends uh, straight out the gates, Dotty. We'll see if you're you're tentative or not mm. sure of yourself. That is for certain. Hit a lot of these shots on the practice uh, area early with just one hand, his right hand. It's got to go some. Look at this race away. Toddy, could he hear the little roar coming from two when Zal Torres made birdie? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Okay. To three. Just 50 yards here for Spieth. And that is some shot. Just 10 usable yards on that left portion of this green. Matsuyama in trouble at the first. And that's where we'll go. So Shafley about to play his third. To learn more about the competitors of the Augusta National Women's Amateur and see the championship results, visit anwagolf.com and follow at ANWA Golf on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Of course, it was eight days ago when Tsubasa Kajitani, a 17 year old from Japan, won the second play in of the Augusta National Women's Amateur in a playoff. Hideki's talked about how he was inspired by that with his play this week. All right, Nick, Dottie, take us through this shot. Well, I think if you're going to miss a green, this was the place yeah. to miss it. He's hit behind us up to hold it. Simple as that. Perfect lie. Um, the speed isn't frightful. Just move from the right. That's interesting. Keeps his eyes on his landing spot while he makes the practice swings. Oh. 
Very nearly. I mean, we were talking all morning long as a crew about just how quickly things can change. And if Matsuyama two punts, that four shot lead is down to one. Here's the third. 280 yards will get rid of those bunkers on the left. And he doesn't even hesitate. Flew them by miles. Absolutely miles. Here is Chairman Fred Ridley presenting the trophy. It was a week ago yesterday to Subasa Kajitani, winning what was a thrilling competition. Very bunched, and so much happened on the 18th. Ended up having to go to a playoff in Kajitani, the victor. Well, situation like this, state in the office, just feed it down there. If it pops in, that is a massive bonus, but don't really want to rush your blood here, do you, Dotty? No, you need something simple. Yeah, yeah. can't can't force them anything down. You can't suddenly get, I got to make this, I'll hit it harder. That's an absolute no-no. Well, making five here is not a disaster. No, absolutely. If it, oh, oh, I was going to say, if it drops, how did it miss? Oh, I have wow. no idea. Inches from the cup, it, it looked like it was certain to go in. It turned one ball left. It was right in the middle. Yeah. Boy, the psychology on that had it dropped. If he could have gotten out of there with a par. I mean, that was a, just a wild ride to the first. But it's a bogey. The lead is one. Let's go to three. Downhill. Speak knows if you can get through this uh, first nine, one or two under. Certainly knows. Just keep his name on the leaderboard. Keep within a handful of shots. There's enough wind out there and enough firmness in the golf course as we go back to the second. Mark Leishman has laid up back here. Looking to become the second Australian to win the green jacket. Adam Scott back in 2013 when Mark played with him in the final round. 155. Beautiful shot. Said yesterday you don't need to be perfect. I've learnt that watching the champions when I've played with them. Just don't make any mistakes. Take advantage of the fives. Across to three. And Corey Connors did lay up here. See a big difference in second shots. 133 for Connors. Plays that well if it stays up. And Zelotoris is only going to have 30 yards here on the same hole. Back to two. What a change in 10 minutes. Less hurt than we've had all week. So. It's about all it took for the, the for him to stretch out Matsuyama that lead that he had on uh, yesterday, and now it's shrunk back up almost as quickly. How's the wind up here in this corner, Dotty? Uh, it'll be mostly into the player's face, Ian. Jordan Spieth got a huge break here. He caught the trees on the corner and it popped back into the fairway. Yeah, they've taken away the second cut down the left. So if if you do hit a hit a hook down there, there's not much to stop it. Is Caddy signaling left? Oh, yes. That did get very lucky. That is wow. way, way down. <laughs> it's miles that's down a, there. That's a short to mid iron for the second. Oh, we're tree trouble. At three. A mere 30 yards. Yeah. I wanted to leap in there, Frank, and say that's. Probably was too close. 
Yeah, I agree with you, Nick. But yeah. did the right thing a little over the back. It's better than being short to the second. And Hideki with the driver this time. It was the three wood off the first that went way right. His misses on the range warming up were to the right. The ones he was most happy with were just a touch of a draw. He only hit five fairways yesterday. Leads the field in scrambling. Seemed to like that one right away. <laughs> that is perfect. If you were going to draw it up, that's how you do it. 320 past that bunker you just saw. But he'll be a long way short of Xanders, who really bounded off the hill. The weight of a nation. Maseo Ioki ran second in the o US Open to Jack Nicklaus back in 1980. That's the best finish by a Japanese player. Now Justin Rose. Spectacular. Make up for that bogey at the first. Justin Rose, two second place finishes here at the Masters. Can he make amends with another fine round today like he did on Thursday? Matsuyama leads by one here in the 85th Masters. I had a journey that I didn't think would ever be possible. Here's a young black man from the ghetto of Dallas, Texas, to reach the height that I did. I want to thank the chairman for extending me that particular invitation, and also the Augusta National and this membership and the, all the wonderful people here. I want to say thank you, and certainly as we go forward, I certainly hope that the relationship that I've had with them can continue on because it's been a wonderful one ever since 1975 when I first played here. And among those who was in attendance Thursday morning, this young man, Cameron Champ. Oh, he has found the slope. That's about a half a foot. <laughs> Let's take another look from behind. Yeah, Fern, I was out there this morning when they were placing this hole, and you've basically got to get it just past 10 minutes past the hour, about 11 or 12 minutes. And that's the optimum line for the hole in one. That was a, a minute short. Well, Leah and his wife, Sharon, have been the guest of the club. They've been here all week and through the weekend, making history again here. And Nick, his golfing history, it should be recognized that he was a Ryder Cup player. And yeah. you played against him in 1979 in the singles. Most certainly did at the Greenbra. And I was three down after three. Hmm. Back to two. Well, we've seen this one hold twice in the last two groups. Make that three. Like Spieth, a good fight back from the bogey at one. Now at three. Zolotoros. If it does the impossible, Frank, and hold this. Yeah. That is tough to describe. It's like a little crown, and it's right at the end of the, the point of the crown coming from left to right on our screens to two. Rose to do the same. Bogey birdie start. Came all so close in 2017 playing with Sergio. Now on top of the hill with Hideki. 223 to the front and 251. It's that whole location where you can ride the ridge back into that corner. Just got to get it far enough into the green to catch the ridge. Okay, well up into the bunker. 
It's not so good if you're short of the bunker, but in it's not too bad. And with his scrambling prowess, shouldn't be any trouble. How far down was, uh, as we come back to the third round? Now Connors, interesting the different strategy between the two. That's nearly paid off. Old school is normally laying back to a full yardage. And the new school, actually supported by stats, is closer to the green, the better. Let's see how that pays out today as we go to the second. Now you can ask that question, Ian. <laughs> how far down was Xander's drive? <laughs> He's got 167 to the front, 195 to the hole, but he has to hit a big old boomerang. Um, the proper miss, like you talked about with Hideki, get it into the bunker and get it far into the bunker itself. I want to swing at something. I feel like if I hook a seven, it's too much. I mean, ideally, we could land this. Got the breeze in. We're going to switch clubs again. We'll see if we get a signal. That's fine. You're probably down to that. You know? The second half of this, it is drawing. It's going to go almost hell. I just got to really overcome this. Yeah. I like swinging at it, you know, feeling like you have to get it. Okay? He's got a big hook with an eight iron, I think, Dotty. That is an eight iron, correct. Which, of course, hooking it downhill downwind it could go miles that wind would actually be more in this ball is trying to turn over it's found the bunker didn't want to go long with the seven iron I'm just sure that, you know, actually long left is, oh no, it's quick, but so everything's quick. But it would be a nice, easy angle. Ahead one. Yeah, this putt's a little longer than well, what he would have liked and what I thought initially. Now, one of his uh, practice routines is get the heart rate up, runs around the putting ring, then practices putting. I guess only being two shots right behind Matsuyama right now is certainly going to elevate anybody's heart rate. To four. And Jordan Spieth after a beautiful long iron on the correct level, but extremely fast coming down the hill here. Oh my goodness. That ball has to turn left there. Neither of us can believe that. Bet you weren't pulling a face like that though. <laughs> Up to 16. <laughs> And here is the essence of a cleanup effort. <laughs> Cameron Champ playing in his second Masters. He had a top 20 finish in November. Hoping for at least that much on this Sunday in April. As a kid, you know, always dreamed about, you know, being a Masters champion. It's hard to talk. The long-awaited Masters has a long-awaited champion. But, you know, it's, you know, it's just incredible, obviously, as you can tell. Uh, five months ago, Dustin Johnson setting the tournament scoring record at 20 under par. Missed the cut here this week, but he will be in Butler Cabin later this afternoon, early evening, to present the green jacket to the new champion. Let's go out to two. And may it be the first Japanese male to win a major championship in this man. Wow. Dottie, that was pretty special. It was. Uh, you know, bunker play is not normally his strength, but he is uh, well better than average this week. Just a tap in left for the birdie. Here at the fourth. And Connors launching it way up into the air. 
got to get over that. Oh, that flew way further than what he anticipated. Going to be quick down there, but he does have an angle that he can play, breaking from the left. Back to two. Now Xander. On the flip side, this is normally a strength for him, but he has yet to get it up and in from a bunker all week. 0 for 4. Well, he's left it below the hole. Runner-up finishes at the 2018 Open at Carnoustie and last at the 19th Masters for Xander. At three. Rose after laying back. Such a small target. As I said before, just 10 yards from that front left to the back left. To two. Make up for the bogey at the first. With a nice solid putt here. He hit a bunch of these on the practice putting green, Dottie, from yes, this length. He yes, he did. That gets him to 10 under on the par fives alone this week. I like the way how he gets into the left side, lowers the left shoulder, gets very level. At four. And Will Zalatoris, look where he's aimed. Up the left side. Drops under it, pushes it back onto the line. And unfortunately just skips through that little bowl onto the back portion, but that a great shot. Fourth has been very difficult. No bogeys there yet in the final round. Uh, birdies, excuse me, in the final round. Back to two. And now Xander for his birdie. Once again, the easiest hole on the golf course today, just averaging 4.3, five eagles, almost 30 birdies. <laughs> Firmly hold for Xander Shoffley. He moves to eight under. Here we are at 18. Yes, and Bryson about to let out some week-long frustration with <laughs> one more rip. Well, if you just slow it down to a blur, I could tell you where it's gone. <laughs> 340 to clear that Very last bunker. <laughs> That's up in the where Ian Woosnam hit it when we were off the, the forward tee, which was 60 yards up yes. in the in the good old days. <laughs> Bring it down to Butler Cabin. Hello, friends, and uh, welcome for the 66th consecutive year to this tradition unlike any other. The Masters on CBS, part of that tradition <laughs> is the, the storylines and the drama that unfolds on Sunday. Jim Nance, Sir Nick Faldo, the six-time major champion, World Golf Hall of Famer, and you know what it takes. You had plenty of drama in your mm. wins here. Tell everybody, with all your experience yeah. of playing golf in Japan, what it would mean for him to win the green jacket. This is a fanatical golfing nation. There's 9.3 million golfers, 125 million people, but ba basically everybody loves sport. They watch the news. Golf is on the national news. So it is evident everywhere. So the weight he's carrying, um, the simplest advice I could give him is do it for you. You'd say to yourself, do it for yourself, Hideki. Hideki, play for yourself. Maybe your family, but look after yourself first today. And it's not going to be that easy because you can see how tricky that front nine is playing. Everyone keeps talking about the weight that's on his shoulders. Yeah. It's there, huh? Oh, most definitely. It really is. But he obviously special. He's five-time winner on tour, so he knows what that feels like. But, but this is a completely different stage, trying to win your first major for the first time. I can promise you the intensity is ten times more than winning a regular tournament. So what's it going to take for him to feel the weight of a 42 long on his yeah. shoulders? <laughs> Uh, the front nine is, is awkward. You know, we, we've seen the wind directions. We've got the seventh downwind, the ninth downwind to awkward front hole location. So get through the front nine. If it's even if it's one over, that would be absolutely acceptable. Oh, he's got the rebound birdie at two. Yeah. So the lead that had shrunk to one for a moment is now back to three off the Zalatoris bogey at three and the birdie by Hideki at two. Yeah, the, the par fives do create opportunities. And of course, Shoffley also at eight under par as well. Let's get out to the third. And after that misjudgment by Rose with the second. And he knows that's uh, not exactly the putt you want to be looking at straight down the hill just to get away with a four. So he laid up off the tee, as did Mark Leishman. And, well, the players are hit are up there on the green, so I'm not quite sure, Dottie, while they're waiting.
to four. Corey Connors second putting it through the fairway grass. There's a ridge right here. It's going to start pulling it down toward the cup. This is a pretty good touch. That is about as close as you can get. It's well done there for Connors. He's off to a good solid start. Back to three. Now Mark Leishman, after also laying up off the tee, is making a mess of this hole. So it looks like whatever strategy you use on three today, it's not working. Just 350 yards to four. Zalatoris would have got a little bit of a read off of Connors. Fantastic touch there. Looking for his first win on tour. The last player to pick up his first PGA Tour win in a major. Danny Willett here back in 2016. Back to the third. Rose will look long and hard at this. Drip it down the hill. Put it on the left, le left edge. And hope it moves. Sunday at Augusta. It's a little different. Zelatoras and Connors to tap in at the par three fourth. Rose was, just wants to get through this hole. Day one, 65. It's just in a different lead. Four shots better than anyone else on Thursday. Field has more than come back to him. All the way at the start. They want the green to clear. Probably no distractions in the distance. They're going to be waiting a little while for five. Now, it wasn't convincing. Still have a little chat with the caddy. Look at the leaderboard. Five back. Long way to go. So now they're ready. Shoffley. It may be a short hole location on that left side, but it is one that forces you to be so specific. Well, I tell you, that's not too bad. It's on the high side, so you can actually use that green and try and let it just sort of turn left. What you don't want to do, Frank, is miss left off the tee. That leaves you with virtually nothing. From my vantage point, this looks like Hideki's going to lay it up. It's fine to say it. we just sort of assume a player is going to hit the fairway, but it is narrow between the four bunkers on the left and the right side of this fairway. It's w uh, well less than 30 yards, yes. Again, the angle is what's so important. Yeah, that's fine. Well, Dickie has not won for four years. Four years ago, it was tied for the lead. PGA Championship going to Sunday. This has a little experience what it's like to play in the final group of a major championship. It's a different feeling. Sometimes you feel like somebody's re-gripped your clubs. Hands feel a little different. To five. And Zalatoris. Be careful over here. Well, it'll be fine. It's way back. This is some stretch right through four, five, and six. Checking the wind conditions, which are seemingly intensifying as we go to the twelfth. You're right, Jim. They picked up down here. Got those flag sticks starting to play havoc with the players. See what Ram can do. Yeah, that's a risky shot. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there. <laughs> Tell you what, that gets that, knocks that in. It'd be at five under par with the two par fives to go. Rom has the round of the day going right now. Four under through 11. Phil Mickelson had a great round on Saturdays uh, with 69. He's two under through nine today. 
Just five months ago, we were here for the first Autumn Masters, and Dustin Johnson's name was engraved on the Masters Tournament Trophy with a record score of 268, 20 under par. Well, that's the whole location. Third, see how narrow that is. And perched on top of the hill. Frank, there's 100 yards between him and the front. Another five to carry into that section of the green. 111 total into the wind for now. It is starting to swirl some. Well, Dottie, also the pitch of the green to explain to the viewer how much it slopes from the right side of the green. So you don't take the direct line to the flag from there. Right, it slopes from right to left and also away from the players. It's like a lemon drop in that corner, isn't it, Frank? And mm. if you imagine the lemon drop has a little dome to it as well, and the flag's right at the end of the point. That's just to the left. The flag there is slightly crowned, so... Uh, Extremely difficult. Even if you hit it into 12 feet, you could have a two foot of, of break easily. Yeah, I always thought it looked like a big molar, and where the hole is cut is like right on the nerve today. <laughs> well, maybe you can extract this one, uh, extract a three out of this. It's also extremely difficult to get the right wind direction. It's not just the direction wind. I, I think, there, Nick, there's some gusts yeah. to try to time out. Yeah, I have just legged it from uh, about the cap into the tower, and I can promise you it is breezier than the 10 miles an hour, easily. Well, that is one issue with the layup. I mean, you can easily look foolish. You can get a beautiful shot, just come up four yards short, spin all the way off the front. Or one hop and you're off the back. Off the back is the safer place to miss it. Isn't it amazing how a golf course can make you think about where the good miss is with 111 yards? He's making me nervous now. Far from ideal. To five. And South Torres with his second shot. Go hard. Go hard. Wants it to climb that ridge is not going to mm -hmm. not even reach the surface. Look at that whole location today, Nick. One of the most iconic and yeah. challenging on the golf course. Back to three. Get a good look here with how Xander can use the contours. That's where this Caddy Kaiser is right now. He can sort of land it there and just let it all funnel all the way around. It's a chip shot that you almost take the hole out of your line of vision. Just focus on where the simple spot to get the ball to and then it's out of your control. Yeah, you probably won't believe how much this will turn to the left. I think there's some indecision here, Nick. He's made the big flop sort of uh, practice swing, and then he's made the, the short clippier one. Yeah, I like that. I do too. This actually could turn 20 feet right to left. Let's see where his eyes are looking.
Oh, this is third hole. That shot may be harder than the one he just had. Problem is, it just starts bringing so many more players oh. back into it. Correct. They're going to look at the leaderboard, thinking, well, did they birdie two? Did they birdie three? To four. And Leishman also well over the back. Players struggling to get a beat on the wind with this tee shot. Oh, he's judged this nicely. Always oh, judged this nicely. What a great shot from Mark Leishman at the par three. He hasn't made a par yet today. Two bogeys and a birdie. Back to three. Dottie, you wouldn't mind if this was your second shot. No, um, I think he's going to have a hard time hitting the green. Wind direction, everything going away from him. Nothing to work with. Needs to sit. Oh, that's a great third. Well done. That's the beauty of this place. Bobby Jones wanted an inland links. Now across to 12. Yeah, just the second two at 12 today. But Ram is five under. So. Yeah, Frank, he gets to eight under. 64 today for eight under. How would that look? Oh, that would look great as we go to 18. And this for birdie after a drive of 374 yards. <laughs> and he got a birdie, but not the week he expected. Is this a golf course you think that's good for his game? Nick, what do you think? He's got to hit the fairways. I mean, it, apparently it's not the priority. Distance control is the absolute priority here. To three. Well, Matsuyama hit a great up and down at 18 yesterday to finish his round. That was extremely classy. A little less sticky in the fringes today. I think it's an easier play. Well, he's even through three, but it's been eventful to the fifth. Third shot for Connors. Yeah, you've got to do that for safety. That was earlier. Now Zalatoris. Now the problem: this can peel in any direction. It can keep. It could kick to the right. Could kick to the left. It's uphill and then onto a down slope. That is and unbelievable. And if you're young, you do that. <laughs> if you've got no scar damage, no memories or anything here, that's <laughs> maybe a bit of rookie is very useful today. Yeah, all that talk about you need the experience, nowhere to miss it and all yeah. of that. You're right. You've got to factor in a ton of scar tissue if you've been here for a while. Absolutely. Let's go back to three. Good 12 feet for Shoffley. Good news is it is definitely uphill. So he'll drop to seven. It's a beautifully positioned drive too. A great opportunity to perhaps make three. Get within a couple. Yeah, the way he lined up that second shot, where he likes to put his eyes on his target, I assume he missed it. He wanted to land it on the green and completely missed his spot. So with Zelotoris tapping into his par at the fifth, the new positions at the top. To five. Connors, par. Not to be. Always online, though. Good read of the greens. Just got to get it there. Drove it right off the tee. Saw that he had the layup short of the green. He'll go back to six under. And we head back to the final pair at the fourth. 
flowering crab apple is its name. Teased pull, tees are pulled all the way back onto the upper tee. Playing at 226 yards today. Hole location cut just three paces over that front right bunker. Players want to get anywhere near this hole. They only really have six yards to play with. And Dottie hitting downhill with wind swirling. Very difficult to pull the right club. Yeah, it just leaves a question in the back of your mind. Catch a gust, get a bunker shot with, with nothing to work with. Pass the hole is really difficult. Don't know what it is through today, but through three rounds, this was tied for the second, or excuse me, the hardest green to hit in regulation on the entire golf course. Yeah, just right around 34% over the first three days hitting this green in regulation. Played as the fourth hardest hole so far in this tournament. But Matsuyama, he stabilized a little bit after the shaky start. Sometimes that can jolt you back into a, 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 a little calmer place. Okay, now it's time to, we're going, we're gonna pay attention. Yeah, Dustin was a little shaky last year, wasn't he? Once he yeah. nailed a couple of drives, found the rhythm, and that was it. Now, this guy can hit it high. Let's see if he tries to throw it up there and let, get it to land soft. Certainly on an aggressive line, Trevor. Sounded great. Okay, just a little deep, hanging on to the back edge. Up to 16. And here is two-time Masters champion Bubba Watson. That is a seven iron. And that is pretty well done. Let's go back to four. And Shoffley getting ready. Dottie, do you think there's some hurt in this win? Because a number of players are going along here. I definitely believe so, yes. Always found it tough playing downhill but into the wind. So easy to lean on it. just came up to Trevor you could hear it it is out to the right Go. Uh, that's a great call Dottie you could actually hear that breeze and just gobbled that ball up he'll be hoping it's on the upslope so that he can try and use that ridge to feed it back down toward the hole up to six and on the tee will Zalatoris oh Need it right of this flag, Burn. Oh, you said it, Nick. Oh, no. No. For safety, you can go right down the right edge of the green. This that. is such a challenging hole yeah. placement. Cannot go long. Absolute no-no. And if you want to miss it, miss it somewhere between 5 o'clock and 3 o'clock, just along the right edge cut line. Matter of fact, in the previous group, Jordan Spieth did go long. And wound up with a bogey, and yeah. he falls to minus three. Yeah. And the 13. And again, playing way up ahead. Some two hours and 10 minutes ahead of the final pairing. Third shot for Rob, who drove it through the fairway up onto the pine straw and laid up. This could end up giving him a reasonable chance for birdie. I know he stood on that tee thinking birdie at the worst as he continues to try to make a huge comeback as we go back to six. And Corey Connors who had an ace here 
in oh. the third round not oh. to be this time. Uh, Nick that is roughly where Jordan Spieth <laughs> had to play from. That's roughly impossible. Well yesterday it was an eight iron. And it was the first hole in one at the sixth since Jamie Donaldson in 2013. Playing with Kyle Murakawa. Knocks it in for the hole in one. John Rahm at the 13th for birdie. Going to be a disappointing five for him any way you slice it. Yeah. Working on a 500 par round. Just three back on second spot right now. That's right. Let's get to four. And Xander Shoffley's bunker shot. He did catch a bit of that upslope, Trevor. Should make it a little easier, but still has to play it out a touch to the right. Okay, trying to run it up that hill, and now it'll make the U-turn and start coming back. Use the terrain to your advantage. Well done. Yeah, that is surprising that it didn't pick up a little more speed there, but still very good. Up to 16. And here's Bubba Watson for birdie. That will take him to even par with back to back birdies and his third on the second nine. Back to four. Matsuyama with a huge breaking putt here, Dottie. I, I think um, most of his body will be at about a 90 degree angle to the, to the line itself. Yeah, the ball needs to spend the majority of its time on the top level and then just drip over the edge and feed down to the cup. He's in that area that this ball may actually work toward the back of the green as he hits it and then the slope will grab it and sling it hard right. So the first part of the putt actually a little uphill. Yes. Also very good. Did what he needed to do there. Not a time to start to get too cute. Hit it a couple feet past. Leave yourself an uphill putt coming back. Up to six. And here's Corey Connors. That's the right club, but it's tough to tell on television that it's so steep down to that that whole location. And we'll go to the seventh hole. This is the third shot for Tony Finau at the par four. Trying to scoot it up there over the bunker and onto the green. That was a golfing Olympic hop, skip and jump. And getting better and better. Finds the slope. <laughs> That's a thumbs up for sure for Tony Finau. What a shot at number seven. Couldn't do that again if he tried. So Shoffley making a nice par there at the fourth. It's a good solid up and down from the front bunker after the untidy bogey at the third.
here at the sixth. Will Zalatoris. Oh, that is a wonderful result. Recall that his tee shot had him way below the hole. And we go back to four. Matsuyama trying to hold on to that three stroke lead. I think it's a right edge putt with some sort of uh, pace to it. So he makes his par there. Just make a correction. Shoffley did make a bogey at the fourth. So he's four behind now as they head up to the long par four fifth. So far, so good for Matsuyama. Well, the fifth hole is called Magnolia. Yeah, full 495 yards. A couple of huge bunkers down the left to be seriously avoided. Winds coming off the right presently, so somehow feed it into that perfect area. Then you turn and you've seen from Will Zalatoris, his fantastic chip with a whole location, middle of the green, but guarded by that very, very famous ridge. And it just bellies out. So anything left, wonderful graphics there, anything left or right of the, of the hole location repels away from the hole. It's played as the most difficult hole for the week. And today, this little mini version, if you will, of Amen Corner, four, five, and six, has only surrendered six total birdies, mm -hmm. two at the fourth, two at the fifth, and only two birdies at the sixth. Oh, please. Bottom line is, Nick, you just try to survive yeah. through this stretch of three. Absolutely. Pass here is exactly what you're looking for. It's always very difficult to gauge the wind on top of the hill here that you see by the heavily tree down the right hand side. Moving the tee back a few years ago um, mm. really changed the whole, it, it, the difficulty of this tee shot, especially can't feel it. The penalty for missing is bigger, especially left. It's, that's going to be, and that's a bunker. They're eight feet deep. All you can see is blue sky with hmm. plenty of clouds. This was earlier, Xander at the fourth. This is what happened here. They brushed that one in, though. Gave up another shot to fall to six under. Five back. Something close to that uh, second cut line. So you see he's gone bogey, bogey, bogey. Mm -hmm. Remember what Tiger did in 19 on his way to winning? Oh, boy. Bogeyed all four days. And still one. Maybe that's the recipe. Oh, my goodness. That's not the recipe, Jim. That's my cooking without a recipe. <laughs> so they're both going to battle some issues off the tee. So we go to the seventh. Tee shot for Zalatoris. Came from the left rough yesterday. Sorry, left trees yesterday, but oh, nailed. Said he did not feel any nerves yesterday. And even though he hasn't made a big surge yet, he looks very calm and composed out there. As we just saw the tee shot at seven to 12. Yeah, just like that. I love the free flowing swing of Zelatoris. That's what Mickelson has also done throughout his career around this very golf course. Uh, Mickelson Sunday. He'll have a crack at it. Three-time Masters champion, even at 50, still playing in the weekend. Final round of the 85th Masters.
For live stream scoring news and more, visit masters.com. The lead is three, Matsuyama over Zalatoris. And then Hideki five clear of third, which is Shopley and Leishman. John Rahm has made up a lot of ground today, jumped over a lot of his fellow competitors. He is six back, though, at five under par. He began the day 11 back, so. And this is going to be Hideki over at the fifth in that first of two bunkers. 180 to the front, 198 to the hole. Yeah. He can't get that done. I think he's got a gap wedge. Something like that. It I think is. it's pretty risky. Yeah, there's no point. No. Decision is what do you want to leave for your third? Like uh, he did at the first, getting a little too close to it. I think a, a longer, fuller shot is a better move. Right, yeah. That's okay. Oh, that's scary, isn't it? How would you like to play that a little 80, 90 yarder to that whole location? Gotta be so precise. <laughs> On top of a green cupcake. <laughs> it's all about food, Jim, this hole, I think. I can tell. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh this was boy. close. Is that? Mm. That almost looks like it's in a some kind of cone, doesn't it? It's um, edge of the pine straw. He does not have a complete backswing uh. and will work hard to pitch this ball forward and get it out of this mess. He'll also have to keep it low to get it out. He, he can't do much at all. He's. No. I mean, not like you're going to try and. Hey, if you're out having fun, you take your five wood and give it a go, but. I'm thinking a little shot bait seven nine, something like that, Dotty. Went for that part of the bag. Don't have a signal what exactly it is, but it looks like it. It's one of those you kind of flash it quickly with your hands. It's a nine iron, isn't it? Mm. Didn't make it. Concerned about catching the trees on the way, the bushes on your downswing, you could actually actually have an air shot to seven. After that big drive by Zalatoris, left with just 118 to the hole. Well, if he's been watching in the past, he knows all about this little gully. Oh, he sure has. Oh, he does. Such a confident young man on Sunday at the Masters. Birdie putt coming for Zalatoris at the seventh. Patrick Reed calls him Showtime, says he could either be a, a golfer or be in Hollywood. He's got that look as he makes his way up to seven. We go to five. It's going to be the third shot for Shoffley. It's 141 to the front, another 18 to the hole. So best you can do is land it on your perfect yardage up on the top and hopefully get it to stop by 15 feet behind the hole. Second time for the nine iron on this hole. That is way high in me. I've caught a flyer. Yeah, that's all oh, that's gone forever. That looks like that could be on the down slope. Wow. The second cut is just long enough, so it, if we brought the flyer back this week. And now Hideki on that left side of the fairway, playing his third. I think this is less nervy than the yeah. whole, the one at one. More of a full shot, more into the round. Yeah. 
less nervy than Xander. He has a chance. He can just land it flag high and get it to bite as quick as possible. Yeah, there you go. That helps. Six. And Mark Leishman has to come up and hit the top of the plateau. <laughs> Certainly has left himself a makeable putt for par. Let's go to 12. And just a moment ago, Burnt, chance to get in red digits for the day. Gone like it did shoot 69 yesterday. It's an excellent round. He gets a ticket to come back here every year, as all Masters champions do. Matsuyama's trying to join that club. Back at Augusta, the lead was four at the start of the day. It's thinning out at the top. The margin's closer, but some of the contenders have fallen off. And one is Shoffley, who must avoid a big number here at the fifth. This is his fourth shot. Get up. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Not what we, what we expected from Xander. No. He's gone bogey bogey coming into this yeah. hole and now he'll have to get up and down to make double. All right back to now his fifth shot. Needs something bold is uphill the way. Yes. Well done. This was the same stretch of the golf course that he struggled with in uh, Friday's second round. To seven. Big butt here for Zalatoris. It would bring him to within two of Matsuyama. Mm. Zalatoris and Matsuyama, the only two who were under par in all three rounds leading into today. Back to five. Matsuyama has this for par. I can promise you it would feel like birdie. Oh! oh. <laughs> Especially with Will just missing on seven. That uh, one moment it could have been a two shot swing. I know they're not on the same hole, but <laughs> that was a huge save. His reaction af afterward tells you he knew how big that was, too, Nick. Putts are going in boldly, Dotty. And Shafley scratching his head, Jim. Uh, he's look at that. At this for a six. There have already been two doubles today at the fifth hole. Well, this is for well, hopefully, but still for a nasty four over for three holes. Means John Rahm's another player closer. Yeah. He started today tied for 21st. 20 players in front of him. Now he has only three golfers ahead of him Matsuyama, Zalatoris, and Leishman. Here's a look at the ninth green. Then you can see the walkway from nine to ten. There's a pairing headed that way right now. And that transition from nine to ten, oh, there's so much to that and to the mental state of making that walk to the second side. Who better than Nick to take us through nine and ten at Augusta? 
It's 85 yards from the back of the ninth green to the 10th tee. It's just a lovely, relaxing Sunday afternoon stroll, a beautiful Augusta National with smiling patrons. Yeah, right. This tournament has produced so many memories over the years. Unbelievable successes and heartbreaking losses. I don't believe it. I do not yeah. believe it. 25 years ago, when I was six back against Greg Norman, I said to myself, if I can get to within three after nine, I'm still in it. There it is. Can you believe it? We've made it to the 10th tee. You're about to play the second nine, but it's a bit of a tease. You're right in the middle of the cauldron. It's perfectly acceptable to dream for a few seconds. The 18th green is right there. You could think I'm holding the putt to win. Butler Cabin is where I get my green jacket. It's right there, but you better focus right now. You're gonna go and play probably the most nerve-wracking, knife-edge nine holes of your career. You're gonna find out really quickly what you're made of. Well, the last pairings, we're going to be approaching that transition mm -hmm. from nine to 10 here shortly, and let's get to the sixth tee. And here is the leader. Vern, this group has been warned they are out of position. Eight iron for Matsuyama. Same hole location we saw in last year's final round. Very well done. Well, it's uh, approaching 5 a.m. in his hometown of Sendai, Japan. Promise no one has slept. Here's go at eight. Prefers the fade from the tee. Can draw the three wood at will, but likes to fade the driver up the left side. Well, he'll need to draw the three wood from there. Eight under par, three back as we go to the sixth. And uh, Xander Shoffley. Nearly hold it here in the second round to turn his round around. That's an eight iron as well. That's really impressive to reset his mind and produce that one. Got to have that ability to get it quick. Yes. And Ram second. Sweeping it around those pines. 220 to the hole, needs to land it at least 210. Just hang in there. It's just worked a few extra yards over the back, which makes that third a little more awkward. But what a round he has going so far. Bogey free. Back to seven. The approach for Justin Rose. Two over on his round so far. And it's, is it gonna miss the gully? It's trying. Just got it, just got the edge of it. And that is a big shot for Justin Rose. Excellent look at birdie coming up to 12. Justin Thomas had a fine tee shot in it. Uh, beautiful part that'll get there. So Thomas in red digits. And if you were watching yesterday, it was the triple at 13. Threw his round in the wrong direction. A great save at five for Matsuyama to remain the leader by three. We're back at the sixth hole. The leader, Hideki Matsuyama. Vern, last fall we saw this be the pivotal hole on on Sunday for Dustin Johnson when he holds a significant putt. Should this go in for Matsuyama, things get a lot more comfortable. I would think.
What's he got here, Dottie or Nick? Either yeah, one. Yeah, I'm just going to say it's straight up the hill, so that's why they're straining very flat, straining to find maybe a hair or left or right. He had a chance, about a foot and a half away. So he will settle for a par at the sixth and maintains his lead of three. And now Xander Shoffley, who has had a very distressing and disappointing final round. You'd have to think this is almost mandatory. And the advantage of having seen Matsuyama's putt as well. Just not there for him. And now they head to the seventh. What a story here. Seven continues to give the field fits has played as the most difficult hole on the course today. It's a real battle. Wow. Oh. So a double for Jordan at the seventh. It's such a hard hole location. That is mega fast, the seventh green. Only two birdies at the seventh hole. It is a tough stretch of holes there. Four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. It's a really good setup today. The players that have come in have said very, very fair. Nine holes that you hang on for par by the skin of your teeth, and nine holes you can attack for birdie. Very fair setup is the general consensus. Now, just a long iron for Will. Try and draw it over that lower mound. 247. As we say on tour, that uh, the hitter knows. And he knew. He ripped that. Didn't get the draw from the rough. It appears he has lots of green, but that is very quick from there. Back to that difficult seventh. And Ian, yesterday it played as the most difficult hole on the golf course and through three rounds, a total of 10 birdies at the seventh hole. But today, with that front right hole location, it's been a little bit easier to get down there. And we've seen eight birdies today. That backstop has to be helping, Andrew. Distracted reset, second toughest fairway to hit of the week. Such a narrow landing area off the tee at seven. Feels like most of the breeze right now is from the right. That should widen it just a touch, Come but that's on. one hand on it. And the patrons looking down that right side. And that will just hang in the fairway for Matsuyama. If that's your miss, I think it's OK. Yeah. Now up at the green, Rose after that excellent approach left with this for birdie. And a big one for Justin Rose as he tries to get back on track. Rose to six under. And back on the tee, it's Shoffley. In his career here at Augusta National has never made birdie here.
Well, that's a good way to try to change that stat, Dottie. Big drive by Xander, who, as Vern pointed out, has struggled today three over on his round. Let's go to 15. And John Rahm chipping for eagle. Right before he hit this, he took a good long look at the big leaderboard next to the green, so knows exactly where he stands. Needs a little Charles Swartzel finish here. Maybe give himself a chance to win this 85th Masters. Up to nine. And Jordan Spieth just hasn't had it so mm. far. He got close to being on the green on eight and two and failed to get down into for birdie. Yeah, and that's what they've done. They've taken the second cut out down the right of nine to do exactly that. Keep the ball running into trouble. Back to eight. Rose pounding one up. He came very close to the bunker yesterday. Ah. And he's found it today. It just takes the opportunity to get it up on the green in two and make eagle like he did the first day. And now Will Zalatoris. Hole high, about 40 yards right of the green. Might be a use of that little bit of that left banking you can see there, Ian. That little dark shadow to feed, slow it down. Yes. Yes, it's one he can be aggressive with if he does use that little backstop or little left bank. Open face lob wedge. Wonderful touch. He's a smart young fella, knows his math well, relies on statistics and figures, data, to 15. And Rahm now for birdie. Just a little from his right. Right in the middle. So that's six under on today's round for the world number three. Back to 14. Well, 2010, Phil Mickelson in the third round. A hole out eagle here at 14. One under on his round so far today. You heard him ask for that one good forward skip. He got it. Not an eagle this time for Phil, but an excellent approach here at 14. He has that left for birdie. Over to 16. And John Rahm. John Rahm, who's got the best round on the course so far, six under. So, oh, go ahead. So many have made two here. If you're going to go on to win. Beat his freaking number. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Let's go. Uh, 30 is back edge. 30 is back edge. So, so Ron has a makeable putt. With that slope, Let's go to Xander Schauffele. 25? Yeah. 25. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just lost it. Saw 116 to the hole. Correct, There's correct. a backstop of four beyond it. Plays half a club uphill. Sand wedge. A good looking shot by Xander. Beauty from Shoffley. Dottie, a very comfortable pairing. These two were together yesterday and Sanders said his grandparents lived in Japan, so he knows a little bit of Japanese. He was telling some jokes with Matsuyama yesterday. Yeah, he said some of the words were good and some were not so good. <laughs> but I think Xander drafted a little bit off Hideki coming in yesterday that really helped him as well. 
It's just a yard closer. Good full finish. Another good one. Almost kisses Shoffley's ball. Two excellent shots for the final pairing here at seven. To eight. This for Birdie to move to nine under par. And it's an aggressive stroke. And another birdie for Will Zalatoris. He's two under today. And just two back of Hideki Matsuyama. 24 years of age, giving it a go. Over to nine. All right, off the pine straw, Spieth. Well, to the famous front left hole location, this is, I would thought, try and be sensible. Well, that's better than sensible. That's fantastic. Got it yes. on. Got it on the lower level. Thought it might come back just mm. a touch, but he'll settle for that from that spot. And we go back out to Phil at 14. Eyeing up this birdie putt. 29th Masters for Phil. Missed opportunity there for Mickelson, who shot a 69 yesterday, his 33rd career round in the 60s at the Masters. Only Jack Nicklaus with more rounds in the 60s at Augusta National. But he'll be coming back for years to come, the three-time Masters champion, and this was the shot we referenced a short time ago, third round in 2010. Similar hole location to today. And that is an eagle for Phil en route to his third green jacket. Now back to seven after we saw the excellent shots from Matsuyama and Shoffley. And Matsuyama will be first. See him get really set in there, so stable down below. And he cannot extend the lead to three on Zalatoris. <laughs> Seventh hole. Still giving these players fits this week at Augusta National. Well, Andrew, these two holes, seven and 14, that you have, you know, where they place the, the flag in that bowl, it's so important, A, to hit it into the bowl, as Hideki did, but obviously you need to reward yourself. It always plays a very important part that if you put it in the bowl, bowl you're, you're just about guaranteed a birdie, so that was a, that was a bad miss for Hideki. Now Xander had to have that one. Birdie for Shoffley at seven. And five under for the tournament. Matsuyama the leader by two as he makes his way to the par five eighth hole. While he walks, we go up to number nine. And Zalatoris on the tee. High ball hitter. Not the longest of swings, but man, does he rip it. It's incredible. Considering Bryson's put on 40 pounds, this man. <laughs> yeah, that's a good comparison. Yeah. Contrast. Yeah, amazing. It's wiry strength, and we understand the science now to get club head speed. And uh, he's doing that more often than not. He hasn't hit many, many destructive tee shots. Up on the green at nine, needing something to happen. Spieth for birdie. He might. He oh, does. What a read. Six, eight feet of break. Got to see that one going in at three o'clock uh, as you look at the, the hole. That's 37 first nine. 
and see if he can light up the back. Let's go to 16. John Rahm's bid to extend this splendid round. He'll have to settle for a par. But six under. Through 16. And he finds himself five back of the lead. Let's go to 13. And it's Cam Smith. Yeah, surprised we didn't use the upper plateau where Cam is putting from. Yeah, I'm surprised myself. Yeah. I guess what? Well, this is a surprise. Speaking of surprises, yes. The co runner up five months ago. With another fine showing here. He's in a tie for seventh. We go to the tee at the eighth. And a much needed birdie back there at seven for Xander Shoffley. He got the combo back there that he needed Ian with Matsuyama missing. Yes. For certain. And that'll help the cause as well. Good tee shot there. Can reach the green in two. Yep. Back left hole location. No eagles so far today at the eighth. We saw seven in the first three rounds. Hideki's had three eagles this week. One in each of the rounds, I believe. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Well, what breeze there is, Ian, is from the left. Good view here of getting into that left side I talked about. Good stable wide stance. Watch that pause. He's been trying to speed up the pause at the top of the swing, and today it may just be a little bit slower than it was the first three days. And watch that as we move into the second nine. And our final pairing make their way up the eighth on a picturesque April afternoon here at Augusta National. Just a slight breeze, the course is beautiful, but the scoring is difficult. Only John Rahm taking advantage today. Matsuyama looking to become the first Japanese male to win the Masters. Stay connected to the 85th Masters Tournament anywhere, anytime. Visit Masters.com, download the official Masters apps, and sign up for the official Masters newsletter. Sal Torres at the ninth. Uh, unfortunately, I'm to the middle level. But wise for safety, if, if you're in between yardages, you've got to err on the on the long. To eight. Here's Rose. He's made a couple of good putts on this green this week. This one got him started after being two over through seven holes on Thursday. And then went nine under in 11 holes from here on to the finish. But he needs something special. He's five back. Here we are at 17. 440 yard par four up the hill. I got a camera just right to the left of you, mate. I agree. Two trees. Pick right. That's a long drive way up on top on the flat and to that back right hole location. No problems. Warm applause of admiration for this Masters rookie who actually did not get in off the top six finish, the sixth place tie at Wingfoot. His top four get in, got in off the top 50. He's played in 22 events on tour. And how quickly he has risen through the ranks just a few years ago, finding difficulty and getting places to play. And now here he is. And just his third ever major and his first here 
Second alone. Back three clear of third at the moment. It's good to see some of the patrons back. It's certainly not what it is in a non COVID year, but uh, certainly a contrast to what it was like here in November. And every day this week, Augusta frontline health care workers were given tournament tickets free of charge. Wonderful gesture by the Masters tournament, similar to what we saw Roger Goodell and his team at the NFL push forward at the Super Bowl in Tampa this year, honoring the health care workers and those who were vaccinated, getting a chance to come out and enjoy a special event. First played here when he was in college. As Alan Torres on a fun trip with a couple of buddies and a member. Let's get to the eighth. Looks like a good shape. 263 up the hill. Now out to the right with a huge second hop there, Ian. The angle will, will be all right, though. I think he can avoid most of the mounds that are on the right between him and the hole. That's where Zalatoris was, Dottie. Group ahead. Made it up and down. Yes, if you can just turn it a little and get the kick off the mounds into the green, you can get it back there to that left hole. Well, where Hideki is now, he's got the whole alleyway really kind of open to him. He walked up to the, just about to the peak of the hill, draw a better line. Two sixty four with the breeze from the left overall. Will it kick in? Has it have the distance? Yes, it does. Got a big hop off the left mound, Dottie, and just over the back. Not a bad miss, though. No. Because mm -mm. you cannot miss left there. We've seen that many times. I remember when Nick won back in 96, Greg Norman hit it down there to the left, and that was the start of the turnaround. So many great players from Japan over the years. Jumbo Ozaki, Seo Aoki, Tommy Nakajima. All played here and done well at the Masters as we head up to nine. So he played here when he was in college, got a chance to play, but he first laid eyes on Augusta when he was eight years old. He was here for the 2005 Masters. That was the year Tiger had the incredible shot at 16. He's a feet is down the shadow at the flag. You watch. Hanger left. Starting now. Oh, that's that's that's. Gotten away from him a bit. The people who thought that putting was his weakness, Nick, but he's coming into the day ranked top three in the field in putting. Yeah, it's so important here, is it? All, all, just about all the champions will be in the in the top five. Let's go to 17. Just a little tree trouble here for John. Six under par, working on a really great round. Has to fight going long here. It's downwind out the second cut. Ian is going to come in mighty fast. It is a tough chip from there, too. Now we're at 10. Jordan Spieth second. 211. Yes, it did. What a shot. What a shot. Can Jordan Spieth do something special here on the second nine? Yeah, if you just shoot a 30, there's your 10 under. <laughs> now we saw Xander miss way over to the right, like Will Zalatoris. Will played a, a nippy little uh, open face lob wedge, Dottie, and got some good spin, hit it in about 10 feet left of the hole from there. I think if Xander would stop right there, that's about where he wants to land this ball. It's a little flat area right where he's standing. That will... Let's check in back at nine while we wait for this pitch. This for a two under side. 
for his par at nine. Wow. This kid's tough. Let's go back to eight. Like I'm saying, if it lands just on the pin with cut spin, it's just going to kind of hold that and then maybe go down to the right, which isn't bad, but I mean, if we can get it just past the pin, it's great, you know, on our line here. Landing just on. Yeah. Four to five feet on. Yeah. Looks like he's going way high with this. Wait for this wind. This is a weird They're downwind definitely looking here. Left. Yeah, none of these pitch shots are easy. I, I find it one of the more difficult traits of uh, this golf course. The, the grass is very firm and very tightly cut. The greens are very firm and fast. You've got to land it in the correct places. Nick talks about that all the time. Bite. Bite. That's a miss hit, Ian. You can tell by the clunky sound. Yep. I mean, it was almost like, a, yeah. like it hit the ground first and skid yeah. into the ball. I was going to say, though, I love the way he looks at his landing spot, even from 40 yards. At 17 now. Oh, so close for arm. That would have got him to seven under. His best round here is, is a 65. He finished fourth. Back in 18. Now, Hideki. He's left this in a very good spot. I think, believe he can land this ball on about a step and a half. A couple of checks and just kind of cruise on in. Absolutely impeccable around the greens this week. Leading and scrambling for the first three rounds. And another delightful touch chip. Oh, spectacular. To nine. Rose. It's got to come in hot, hasn't it? Yeah, it trickles off back right. And 17. Ron for par. What another great save. Fantastic par. Almost chipped it in. He heads to the last five back at six under, and we go to the 10th tee. Will Zelatoris, three wood. That's a swing to copy right there. Makes Justin Thomas look overweight. Tall, thin, strong, fast. Over to 13. 47-year-old Stuart Singh. Just his second Masters since 2014. Mm. How about this? He's tied for 10th right now. Having won in Napa in the fall, breaking an 11 year drought and playing just super here. Rom on the tee at 18. Suits his eye for that, <laughs> that bullet. Look at that thing. I think John will like to keep on going. You're right. Play Could another emergency nine. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Let's go to the eighth and Shoffley needs to continue the run of birdies if he's to challenge and he has <laughs> wonderful putt there birdie birdie for Shoffley now at 10 we saw Jordan Spieth's excellent approach that's more like it 
You see Michael Grella shaved his beard today too. That's uh, maybe they're looking for a little something different. Could this be the start of something spectacular on the second nine? Now Hideki. Twelve under par. One under on his round today. And a three shot lead over young Will Zalatoris. Earned his first win back in 2014 at Memorial. And host Jack Nicholas said he felt Hideki could be truly one of the world's great players over the next 10 to 15 years. And Jack, I think you're right. Up at nine. And Rose trying to figure out how far he has to play it right of the hole. By the way, the birdie by Spieth at 10 means he sweeps it for the week. Birdies it all four days. That's the first time in the history of the Masters. In wow. 85 years, anyone has gone birdie, 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 birdie at 10. There had been eight players who had played at three under for the week, but now he becomes the first to birdie it all four days. What would you do in this spot right here if you were Justin? Big, big swing. Jim, as we saw from Zalatoris, his putt, he's got to least, he's got to chip it across to the very top of the middle tier, and then it's got the breeze to contend with. So looking for at least six to eight feet of break, but cannot get frisky on it. Looks like it could be quite good. No, that, is it, it enough? No, the wind's going to hold it up. Oh that my gust has wrecked it. No, no. The wind. Oh, look at it. Look at it pushing it. But it's not terrible. Yeah. You just got to be great from six, six to eight feet this week. Matsuyama on the tee at nine. Just saw a beautiful tee shot from Xander Softly. Breeze from the right. Less room down the right than there's been in the past because they've taken that second cut away. It'll scamper. <laughs> Gotta be careful. It's Close. Is so long, though, they oh, whip it right across that. the corner, Jim. It's unbelievable. Mm. The old days, if you drew it, you clipped the trees and you were stuck. It's found a flat spot, too. Let's go to the 10th. From a perfect position. Good solid shot, just a half a club too much. That will be a lag putt from back there. Ahead to 11. And playing back into that south breeze, so this can play every inch of its 500 plus yards. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Just a skosh. Ooh, very nearly. Might be able to fashion a shot as we go to 13. And sink. For Eagle. Yeah, just gonna say nice treat to have your son on the bag. Yes, Reagan. Yeah. His boy Reagan. That would have been only the second Eagle of the day at 13. We showed you Bryson shortly after we came on the air. He's got the only three at 13. As the leaders march the ninth. I say the leaders, it's Matsuyama, 12. Shoffley at six. He's in a three way tie for third. One of those is Rose at six under. Salatoris in between the leader and those in third. Well, the breeze is definitely strong enough to hold it up a hair. So do you calculate that? Do you do less break or do you hit it a smidgen firmer? Gust. Wow. Oh, 
horseshoe uphill. Yeah, put it in the left, second cut, caused no angle and... Uh, in 18, we got Ram. I want to see how this one reacts, Jim. Oh, see, even that. John Ram can put some spin on it from a short. It's still got a big hop. He'll have that putt for 65. So we go back to the 10th. This is a long downhill left to right putt for Will Zalatoris. One that you'd be just happy to get down there somewhere in tap-in range, Nick. Absolutely, Ian. It's always more. Again, we've got a, got a subtle ridge coming from front right corner, then snaking almost to the right corner of our screen. And that's what, once it starts to accelerate on the on the slope, you what? Look where he's aiming. The eyes are at least six feet left. And he is the only player within three of the lead, as you said, that would be a good position to be in here on the second nine. The wiggly strokes in the, the one he just popped in at nine, it didn't come out the middle of the, of the bat. He hit a putt similar to that at the third. A little too aggressive. A beautiful amen corner here at Augusta National. Will Zalatoris at 10 green about Wait, to just... make his way down the hill. But it's Matsuyama with a commanding lead here. Nine to go. And the new Papa trying to find one more birdie and call it a day. Baby Keppa born a week ago yesterday. Come on now. Mm. Oh, I cannot believe for downhill to leave it short. Put around though. We had 68 by Hatton earlier. 70 by Murakawa. There you go. Wife Kappa, uh, baby Kappa, wife Kelly. Rumbo, it says yeah. on the back of the camera. <laughs> well, he has, a, you, know, you look at it, he's had a lot of high finishes here in a short number of years, Nick. Oh, he's a quality player. Definitely a major champion one day. Guys are getting a little afraid of the ninth, and that's going to catch the famous false front. Didn't quite have it. It's full fire, so that's okay, sensible. Let's go to 10. Huge part here for what young will. And like he did at three, left it yeah. short and low. It, it, most of those parts, he has that lovely little pop, and then some of them, especially up uphill, so he should keep the pop, the pop going, shouldn't they, Ian? Yes, I agree. He's... he's uh, Doing so many things yeah. so well. Big motivator was uh, Jordan Spieth when he won. Little. Back at nine. And the lead is back to where it began at the start of the day at four. Must stay in the air at least 90 yards to take that front mm. slope out of play. Nick, that's a little bit of brilliant. Well, wonderful angle. He knows a great tee shot. Just saw Justin Rose in trouble, so he puts it down there perfectly. And downwind, that was perfection, wasn't it? He's that close to five in front and heading to the second side. Let's get to 11. And Nick, that breeze is just starting to switch a little more from the west at the moment. So it means he'll actually send the ball towards the pond or towards the flag. safe long long way away 
Only one birdie here at 11 today. Tuck that flag over there. It's hard sledding. Back to nine. Shafley. He was very fortunate this ball was far enough to the right that it didn't go down the mm. steepest part of that upslope. Now, Nick, it's a chip shot. You can hole. I love this. I'm going to try this tomorrow. Keep looking at my landing spot on any length, as long as I don't do my neck in. Get there. Donnie, he almost called it. Does almost count? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Had the same sort of round on, on Friday. Just kind of got stuck back there in that corner three, four, five, and then kind of released into the round. Well, Hideki's balls come right down. I thought for a moment if it was, you know, hole high, it'd be really tricky. So it's a perfect is, spot. Yeah, a little uphill, left edge, firm. I'm thinking of some of the quality shots that he has struck since making that par save at five. A good tee shot at six. Yep. Wonderful second at seven, though he missed the putt. Birdie to eight. And then the shots here at nine to get into this position to strike. I mean, he's really settled into this round after that par at five. Yeah, he's looked, he's looked, he's looked good. He looks relaxed. You know, he. The other important thing here is the media. You know, we talk about the media coverage. This man, obviously from Japan, will attract. And of course, at Augusta National, no media is allowed inside the ropes. All the cameras are outside. So if there's one major, one major, he could really win. <laughs> it's this one. That's a birdie. Matsuyama. To 13 under par. And that's five clear of Zalatoris, who bogeyed the 10th. Five in front, nine to go. What would be your mindset with that lead? Stop playing sensible. <laughs> Keep it in play. Let's get to 11. Five back. It might be long enough. Just as that's further down than what Spieth was. Sander Shoffley did tap in back at the ninth. We'll go back to 10. Justin Rose from the left side of the fairway. 208 yards. That's a good shot, Sander, of the green from the downslope there at 10. It's a huge downhill hole. Well, they are headed along that walk, Nick, that you mentioned, and it's been said that the Masters do not truly begin until the second nine on Sunday. This man has a five-shot lead. At the 10th tee with leader Hideki Matsuyama. Most important thing in is not get ahead of yourselves. He? He's done a great job. It's, you know, with the cliche one shot at a time, one hole at a time, stay completely focused. But he's been doing that and it looks great. I agree. He's got three wood here. Easier to draw the three wood with more loft. The breeze seems to be down from what it was earlier in the week. This could get to the bottom of the hill. It's on a really nice long start. Not hugging the left, but not flare out to the right either. Superb. Well, that's a good way to start the inward half, that's for sure. So many things going through your mind. I remember leading the Open by five with nine to go. Nick, you've been there. I remember the 1990 Open. Yeah, same thing. Yep. I mean, you, you still have to stay so focused. You're not definitely not counting any chickens. You just got to stay with it I'm sure you have a you can give yourself an extra few feet uh, for safety little straighter trajectory here with three wood for Xander I actually found I started playing probably a little bit too defensive because you weren't sure that you know why would I force myself to make it to make a silly mistake yeah keep it on the safe side yeah. fat of the green that sort of thing but the players chasing, they have to make eagles. They have to go for it. This is going to be exciting. 
Justin Rose in the centre of the green, down on 10. He's in that uh, second to last group with Australian Mark Leishman. Mark is five under, Rose also five under, two over today. And that's one of the things, Nick, that makes it so hard. You you know you need birdies, yeah. you know you've got a challenge, but then you leave yourself those six footers coming back. Yeah. Over to eleven, Frank. As we watch Spieth and Ian, you just reminded me, remember it was five years ago. Jordan had that lead coming through here. Yes, Frank, you're and right. Danny Willett picked up five shots over those last six holes. And of course, ten years ago, it was Rory McIlroy with that big lead and well. 25 years ago, Nick, I know you were involved in that. I was playing in that. The uh, the big catch up against Greg Norman. So. Certainly. Yeah, Frank, I found it. I found it. I got a little too defensive on the punning at, at St. Andrews. But then thinking here, being super defensive here is actually the right attitude to have. See Hideki walking down 10 over at 9. We happen to capture the call on Tokyo Broadcasting System. Mr. Wataru Ogasawara, the play by play man for Tokyo Broadcasting, and Tommy Nakajima. So many of you will remember Tommy, the years he played here as the analyst. Here's their call of the second of the ninth. しっかり上に上がってきてほしい。ピンポイント that was if tremendous. You, if you'd like me to translate, Jim, uh, it was like he's just spun back the wedge to four feet and he's very happy. Well done. <laughs> you know, we've gotten to know the Tokyo broadcasting commentators through the years and some legends. Satoshi Ishii uh, passed away a number of years back. Mr. Ishii was, uh, was a great one and so was Sadao Iwata. All the players from the global game that remember him as well. Let's go to 11. That's a very good two putt from Nearly 90 feet to remain at minus five for speed. Back to 10. Yes, I, I mentioned earlier, I, I played the Japanese tour in the 80s for a few years and got to know all the players there. And I mentioned how he was carrying the weight of the nation on his shoulder for all of you guys and all of the people that have been to Japan and played golf. You know exactly what I'm talking about. They are idols. They are icons in Japan. And this would be so huge. Especially with the Olympics there this year, Frank. Yeah, it'll be a big deal there, but it'll also be a big deal for a 24-year-old Wake Forest alumni, Will Zelatoris, to see what he can do down the hill. Now, from 200 yards, the average approach shot on the PGA Tour is 40 feet. And that's without trouble in front continues to play well strategically very impressed quite a steep downhill lie here for Xander yep downhill hooking lie with a seven iron sort of under the wind down here right now ah, the old Gary player walk through well done Could we not to get stuck on the wrong foot also a darn good golf shot. I agree, below the hole. <laughs> Ian, I'll add, if, if Hideki wins, I bet he lights the Olympic flame. Well, that's a that, good call. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I totally agree. Yep, that's, that's how much it that's means to the, the nation. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 180 yards, one thing I really like about what he's doing, he's continued to do his own yardage, so he's responsible for his math. He's doing the same things that got him into this position. Go back to your swing thoughts, your shot shapes, keep doing it. This is also a seven iron.
Very good shot, right in line. For example, when Chaka Higuchi won the 77 Women's PGA Championship, they received a ticker tape parade for her win as we go over to 12 T. I'll subtract the four yards downhill, and then you have to factor in how much breeze you feel. Just better be careful. Where's that right left wing, Michael? Oh, that pitches a yard further left that it comes back into the water. His position five under. I guess forced him to attack this hole. So Spieth fortunate here at 12, but at the moment could be one of the biggest days ever in golf for the country of Japan. Get your child started in the game. Visit drivechipandputt.com to find a local qualifier near you and register for this free nationwide program. We're at the 11th. Catch up on Will Zillatoris. When he ran tied sixth at the U.S. Open last year, there's a strokes gain category approach. Best players in the world. He was two better than the average player in the field, and that was uh, by far the best at wing foot. And the putting, which we've already talked about, it's a stroke copied from Webb Simpson. That's all that needs to be brushed up. He's ready for prime time. It will be quick and it will swing left. Not bad. Gonna have to have a think on that one, though. Back to 10, where Hideki will be putting for his birdie up the hill. This is a putt that he hit a lot of in his pre round practice session, and um, just working on speed, kind of feed it in around the hole. But it was this shape, this distance. Yes, it's one of the weeks of the year that all the players will practice their putting for an hour a day more than they normally would. Try and get used to the amount of break on these extremely fast greens. And you're really just trying to lag it up there when they get this quick. Throw it out to the right and let it fall down. Just like this. Very, no stress, huh? Very nice. Mm. I, I like the fact too, Dottie, that he keeps that putt ahead moving. He's uh, he's not staying static. I like that. Yeah, he's, he's gotten himself into a very comfortable, as you said, level position. And then it, it flows beautifully. The two hardest holes on the course to now are five and ten. He's parred them both. Over to 12. Why well, is not too bad for Spieth and going uphill. Just plays that little stab shot so beautifully. Now, not that far away. It's the 11th green. This one downhill, five and a half feet. Speed did tap in at 12. Yeah, that's an excellent forward 11. Nice to see some color there on the hill at 12 and the applause. Blast of color here in Amen Corner. To 10. Can be aggressive up the hill. Oh, how good were those two putts to not go in? So eight. Holes to play. Matsuyama leads Zalatoris by five. Let's check in with Amanda Balionis. Here with John Rahm. John, yesterday, in one word, you described your round as frustrating. <laughs> After a final round 66, how do you describe today? 
satisfying. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can say, right? Um, I think if anybody was watching or they go back on the highlights, you can hear me numerous times when I hit a shot right at the pit and just from the frustrations of the first few days, not getting the win right. I'm, I just, I'm like, get lucky. Just be the right one. The mm. case is on four, six, 12. I'm just looking at it like, let's just hope we got the win right this time because I'm hitting good shots. And uh, today it happened, made a few putts and, and posted a great score. This is looking like it's going to be your fourth consecutive top 10 here at the Masters. When you look at your record here, is it now a matter of not if, but when you put on the green jacket? <laughs> hope so. Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things where it kind of sounds like I'm close, but I was never close to winning. Uh, closest was 2018. I think I was two back on 15 far away, right? Uh, or semi rough. That was the closest I've been on a Sunday, and uh, I hope to get closer. You know, uh, it looked like halfway through the round, once I birdied 12 and I was only five back, I'm like, you know, what could happen if I finish strong? But it looks like Hideki uh, is taking off playing good golf, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, it's time to stop chasing birdies and start changing diapers. Enjoy the time home with oh, your family. I'll gladly do that. <laughs> now, Rose, 222. And on that line, that better stay in the air. Excellent. It's a scary looking shot from the top of the hill, especially on a windy day. I was doing this a touch there. Corey Connors will be actually first to play at 12. So Will Zelatoris will get to look. That's good experience for Corey. I know he's plus four for the day. Certainly take a lot out of the round for next time. You know, carry on the bunker 151 today. You, that's, a, that's fine. It's not far away from where Woods hit it a couple of years ago. We had six players with a chance to win. Now, Nick, I know there's five shots at play here, but tough decision on such a dangerous hole to really go for this one. You just send it over the right edge of the front bunk for safety. That's a we, big pitching wedge. Yeah, we had a look at the front of this green, didn't we, Frank? But if you come up one inch short of the green, oh, it, wow, that's a that's the poorest shot we've probably seen him hit for a long time. Well. Can't get inside his head, but perhaps two mines. Wedge, that's the shortest club I've seen attempted here at 12. Now, top of the hill at 11. Tee shot. Frank, this was about the last poor shot he hit yesterday, right before the weather delay. And he was perfect coming in. That'll work. And how? Yeah, that weather delay yesterday made a big difference. Birdie 11, 12, 15, 16, and 17 yesterday. In that round of 65. Now for a first time of that walk on a Sunday across Hogan Bridge, 32 steps involved. Some might say it's a bridge too far, but it's a look into the future too. We're going to see him back many a time. And you also know when you get over the other side, every great champion that's come to Augusta National has made the same walk. Only a few have gone on to get the green jacket. Now back at 11, Shoffley. That's a wide fairway, but maybe not wide enough. Is it Pinesraw? Like on his third He may have a little avenue there. Set down a little. Now back to 12. Fortunate to stay up and enough green actually to work with. But it is a slow chip coming up this hill. 
There's a little ridge just where Will's standing right now. It's an awkward one, Frank. I guarantee you didn't practice this as a for chip shot. No. We hold it across the green, so I, I was amazed uh, because this takes years to end. It, it just looks visually the flattest green on the golf course, but across it from left to right, there's easy four for the break. And if it's going right of the hole, then it speeds up. So he hasn't had a chip much today, and that is extremely good. To 11, Justin Rose after that excellent second shot. The pot has been cold today. Really all his good work was done on Thursday. Seven under, 65. Two over since. Of course, he had that excellent chance. He lost to Garcia. Now Corey Connors. Sun's come out. That's what you'd want on a Sunday. Everything in full bloom. See the difference between a November Masters and April. Green's a little firmer, quicker. And the beauty restored. Yeah. First half of this is slow. Gets on top of the ridge, starts to flatten. And then turns right. Hill Mark, we go to 18. Three time champion Phil Mickelson for par. Comes here one under for the day. Open with 75 and then recovered, made the cut on the number 72, 69, and 72 today for Phil. Put him in a tie for 21st. Playing with Francesco. 13 now. A little more room with this whole location, so that middle bunker. That's exactly where he's aiming. Seems to like it, holding the finish. Should, unless it sits on that back plateau. It's going to stay there. Yeah. Back to 12. And this is important. To 11 now, Justin Rose to remain at five under. She does. Zell Torres three putted 13 yesterday. And that putter has certainly gone awry in some of the key moments. Shoffley here in trouble. Yeah. Back on top of the hill at 11. I'm kind of trying to figure out who's going to play first. I have Matsuyama by a yard, but. Shoffley does have um, a look. The line is directly at the 12th tee box. In between are that, that little cluster of mounds. But if you can somehow get it down there, it might take the mounds and get somewhere toward the front right. I mean, you don't even, I, it'd be great to have a little drawn in, but I don't think you need to have a lot, you know? I just need to move a little closer a little. To straight out. It's rehearsing a run. big hook. Almost in that bunker, then like yeah. a hard ground yeah, yeah. Figure, you know what I'm saying? It's the voice of his good friend, Austin Kaiser, caddy for quite a while. Corey Connors did tap in for his par at 12.
It's on that line I talked about and beyond the mounds now. Such a good golf shot. Well, that rain yesterday got certainly softened the kick off those big bounds. Now, back across to Will Zelatoris. I know the guy who works with him strategically, Scott Fawcett, and he gave him the Tiger Woods philosophy. Avoid the big numbers. He's done that this week. And no three putts. That party hasn't got right now. Hideki, big shot. It was just a regular six iron. Yeah, no need to look at the flag. Middle of that bunker. Hold it against the wind. He heard you, Nick. <laughs> it's out to the right. That's... Yeah, a little, little bit of work to be done, but it's fine, Nick. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to uh, just boldly give yourself long putts and you'll be fine. So, dry at 11 for two. 13 under, six shots, a lead for Matsuyama. And Justin Rose. Just a smooth nine iron. See if he can hold it up today. Down now. It's not too bad. Faint ridge in the middle. Go right of that. Sometimes it kicks towards the flag to 13. And is that much worse? Oh, beautiful shape. Yeah, this is going to be good. All these watching is always concerned. Yeah, it shouldn't be. That's keep kicking. Oh, I remember he caught a bad lie up there yesterday. It sat down on him. Force him to lay up. That one's sitting up a little better. On the green, this is a long <laughs> sideways <laughs> eagle. There we go. Oh, we might like it. He does these things, Nick. Yeah. Easy. A little unlucky that that did not. Come down just a bit from that high side with his second. Let's get back to 12. A lot of people thought Mark Leishman would be a contender today. Just gone backwards. <clears throat> He's trying to become the second Australian to win the Masters. Back to 11. It was actually in Japan two years ago. We uh, had the tournament in Tokyo where Tiger Woods actually got his uh, 82nd win. Hideki was runner up there, but it was sellout every single day. And you could argue on one hand that they came to see Tiger Woods, but they came to cheer him. And I know the, the Olympic golf course, Ian, I know you're involved with that, but that's also going to be in Tokyo. Should he go on to win? I mean, the reception alone, when he gets on that first tee, should he go on to win here would be uh, quite amazing. Yeah, they're looking forward to that at Kasumi Gaseki Golf Club. It's a beautiful 36-hole Golf club in Tokyo. Have a little white. Xander's going to putt first. This is a sneaky fast one if you've played here. Once it starts turning left, be careful. Good effort from Xander. To 15. To put tee shot down the left, relayed up to this point. Got a lot of green to work with. If he can fire one in there nice and low with a lot of spin, just like that. Oh. Great shot there from the 2018 champion. Back to 12. Rose going to put along the side of the fringe. This is the one that has a ton of break. Not to be. Good effort. Birdies have been hard to find, especially through this little stretch. And Hideki now. Oh. 
Beautiful touch. Yeah, he's doing exactly what he needs to do at this point. Just check them off one swing, one putt at a time. Your holes remaining is a bit like a clock in another sport. To 13. And speed for birdie to get one shot out of second. Yeah, big fight for second now. Got about five players. Like a nice seven. turnaround in the middle of this. Yeah. The birdie at 9 and 10, now at 13. Let's go to 12. Chance here for Leishman off the back. So just stalled. Let's say 4, 5, 6, 7 played very difficult today. Apart from Zelatos, no one ate into that lead of Matsuyama's. Was full credit to Matsuyama for getting out in 34 to 14. Well, we already saw Tony Fina with a miraculous shot back at the seventh. This is his third at 14. Off the bank. <laughs> Bottom of the cup. I think he's earned another FaceTime with Tom Brady. A birdie at 14 for Tony Finau as we go back to 11. Shoffley currently ranked sixth in the world rankings. He's been in the top 10 for a while now. He seems to save his best stuff from the majors. Just not a lot of weakness anywhere. He's been in contention two of the last three masters now. Even the short ones. Need the attention. One hole at a time. <laughs> Avoids the water at 11. Water in play at 12, 13, 15, and 16. Man on a mission. Yeah, nice to see some of the patrons back. Don't quite have the stands yet this year. To 13. Zalatoris. Pokey. Two of the first three on this second side and trying to do something to get it back. He's up there where we saw Spieth in that area. Speedy putt and sideways it is. Jordan's on the tee at 14. On the tee at 16, Patrick Reed in quest of his fourth birdie in succession. I like his chances. And we go to 12. Dottie, it feels like about eight miles an hour of breeze at the moment. Not quite a full club. No, definitely not a full club. Um, you can you can see it up top. Flag is lying limp. I'd say a half a club at the absolute most right now. He had a tendency early on in his career for going for too many flags. Nick, you've got three jackets <laughs> you wear proudly. Yeah. I would go for that back bunker, the right edge of the back bunker, which covers a couple of yards 
of the front bunker for safety. I had a look at this whole location. One inch short of the green there in line with the flag, it would be in the water. So that back bunker there, you can just see that. Give yourself another yard. Anything seven yards left is perfect. Just a normal nine iron. Nothing super feisty about this. Oh, this is no normal day. Is that long, Pat Bunker? Yeah, it's dry though. Yeah, that's the problem. When you have the yardage and go too far left, you have to change your yardage. Nick, is this the time that adrenaline starts to perhaps kick in? Well, it, it, it did on 11, that tee shot down there. It was, he's enjoying that freedom, but uh, this requires a lot of touch and you're staring straight at the water. Now Xander. Same club. This is much higher and much more aggressive. No, that's okay. And he's going to make that walk quite as part of the golf course. Maybe take some deep breaths from on there on then. And the first thing in some 10, 12 years ago, the Asia Pacific Amateur Golf Championship, that's where he cut his teeth. Actually did not turn pro, tried to, tried to win that event for three straight years. In the third year, he was beaten by a young 14-year-old, Guan Tin Long, who became the youngest player ever to make the cut here at Augusta. Hideki then decided to turn professional. Four years ago, was ranked the second best player in the world. To 13. And Rose is on the tee at the par 5 13th. Teed it up right up against the yeah. T marker. Yeah, I think high draw. Well, it's going to just sit up, which is fine because there's plenty of room in the middle of the green. To 14. And the approach for Jordan Spieth. 154 to the hole. Coming off birdie at 13. And this one settles nicely for Spieth. He likes that one. Birdie putt coming up for Jordan Spieth at 14. Back to 12. Yeah, the lie's not too bad. Yeah, you could catch it a little heavy. It yeah. could run out. Might be well, one of those in between. It's a time when... If you thought about it, if you didn't like this, you go a smidgen further left, and if it costs you a four, well, that's fine. You've just spent one. One out of six is no problem at all right now. like a do over definitely got it heavy to 13 well he's not as far up into the green as we saw speed so a little straighter putt but Looks like the shadows have caught him out <laughs> had big trouble with this 13th green yesterday with the change of conditions to 12. Just think, Nick, about that par putt he made back on five. Yes, that was huge. That was key there. This one, probably but, similar distance. Well, this one's downhill, though, Frank, isn't it? The one on five was uphill, so you could have holding speed. This just needs dead weight speed. I had a touch of left to right. And that one came at the right time. He was struggling a little. I think it's got to roll. Yeah, it's got to roll right over that, maybe. 
Now, Xander will be first to putt there, but we'll go to 13. And to recover the shot, he just gave away at 12. He's missed uh, a number of putts of that length now, Nick. Yeah, that was an unfortunate poor first putt. Got to keep the old concentration going. Back to 12. And Xander at the moment in that tie for third. Look out. What a great two. So now on a tie for second. Well, we might get two back. So mm. four shot lead, possibly. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what you as Hideki have to anticipate that everybody is going to make every opportunity that they have. Keep yourself alive. Um, staying in a, in a positive and aggressive mindset, but under control. And like Nick said, it's okay to make four here. Maybe not so much after my, my <laughs> playing. I call him an opponent. <laughs> He's just made a two. I wouldn't like it. So he should just drop one. Lead will go back to 12 under. To 14. And Jordan Spieth has this putt to move into a tie for second. Beauty. So Matsuyama in a bit of trouble at 12 as Spieth gets to seven under and makes his way to the par 5 15th hole. Back to 12. So even though this hole is just 160 yards, played over par every single day this week. So four, not the end of the world. But wouldn't like another two shot swing no. <laughs> <laughs> over the next six holes. And that's exactly what that 13th hole was built about. to 13. Rose just inside 200. Yeah. Oh. Sit down. Oh boy. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, they're all taking that line for safety through the middle of the green, but they're not really getting the uh, reaction they're hoping for. It's not digging in and turning to the right. 14. Tee shot for Zalatoris. And this one headed down the left side. Oh, and he got a bit of a break right there into the fairway. Yeah, you take that on a Sunday at Augusta National. Back to 13. Yeah, you got the Crenshaw bounce. Here's Mark Leishman, third shot. Needs a little help from the slope. And he uses that backstop effectively. Mark at four under par. On the tee, Shoffley coming off birdie. You can't feel that breeze that's pushing the golf ball to the right right now. Less than 50% of the players have hit the fairway this week. Mm. Good recovery after the little block on. Uh, oh, look where that yeah, is. Look at that fella right around the corner. Wow. Well, great recovery after the little pull on number 11. We'll call that upper deck at 13. Let's go to 16. And here's Patrick Reed. And he joins that group of four previous players who have birdied 
the two par fives, the 14th, as well as the par three 16th. Let's go to 13 T. Still five in front. Means the tee shot that he hit at the ninth. Now he's turning. Uh oh. That might make it back to the grass, yes. Wow. Came back solidly in the second <laughs> cut, no problem at all. I think there's some adrenaline in that one. That was still going up in the, into those pine trees. That's two, 290 to reach them. Up on the green. And just over the back in that little swale, here's Rose. Tons of right to left. Boy, he's got a good pace on it. Mm, it's good. To 15. And Jordan Spieth coming in here with a hot hand. Four birdies in his last six. Just take a look how he's played this hole so far this week. Dang it. Trying to hit that yeah, little fade cool. up the right side. Same line. Same line. And missing the fairway to the left. That is probably going to lead to some kind of layup. Back to 14. And Trevor, the wind had been pretty quiet here at 14 the last hour or so, but it's gusting up as Zalatoris hits his second. And this will work a little bit away from the hole, but he'll still have a birdie putt coming up. Twenty-four years old, competing in his first Masters tournament. Well, Hideki's tee shot. He actually hooked Wood off the tee and Wood down the way. Oh. It takes off running. On the green, Leishman. Oh. Puts him in a tie for six with Patrick Reed and Justin Rose. But you saw him, Hideki, five in front. He's in a full sprint, it looks like, the Butler cabin to receive a green jacket. Can Rose make birdie here at 13? Exquisite play to here. That puts him at six under alongside John Rahm. Tied for fifth. Let's go to 15. And Bobby McIntyre up the hill for birdie at 15, right in the heart. His first Masters and a good solid second nine here to get him to three under for the tournament. Back to 14. Zala Torres looking at this birdie putt at 14. And Nick, there was so much talk yesterday that the greens changed after yeah. the weather delay. What have you seen today? Well, we, we kind of come back to normal not quite as feisty as, as day one and you know I wanted to comment for the guys that um, you know yesterday we can keep coming up short people will say well just hit it harder but you've been here all week on mega fast correct greens you can't turn it around with five minutes of practice back to 13 okay what's the play going to be here he has a five iron in his hand 196 front 215 to the hole and a perfect lie and again, Dolly Deluxe not looking at the flag, just try and get it middle of the green, use the slope. Oh, 
Oh, starts boy. left and is going left. All right, it's down in that. Wow. Uh, it's a second cut, but it's fine. That's absolutely fine. Didn't need that one hopping into the azaleas. Exactly. In fact, they got a favorable hop. Yeah. It stopped it dead and came down into the gully. So it's good opportunity. Let's go to 14. Up the hill, left to right putt for birdie. Zalatoris. And that putt left for par to remain even on the day. Back to 13. I, I, I'm feeling the hurt right now. Now, now we are. I mean, it's 60 cover, and that's just left the I mean, you feel like what, 75 to cut. That's got to be enough to cover the 50 inch bank for sure. In line, you, in line, you said 60 in our line. Yeah, right now. Okay. Okay. I like it. Good one of those. You can be aggressive with that. Okay. I like that. Well, the early decision was an eight iron for Xander. A little bit of breeze has come back up. Mostly quartering in from the right. Yeah. But if you keep it below the, the tree line. A little harder to do when you don't have a, yeah. a real even stance. One more. Yeah. 163 covers right. Oh, what a shot. All that uncertainty. Well, that was washed away rather quickly with that one swing. He's got an eagle attempt. There's been a second one here at 13. Ryan Palmer joining DeChambeau, the two of the day. 15. They've been taking a little time trying to figure out what to do here. Michael Grayley's caddy actually walked all the way down to the layup area to figure it out, then trudged back up the hill to tell him what he saw. So he's going to be left with that devilish third shot into the par 5, 15th. Matsuyama right now got a hold of this 85th Masters, leader by five. And here's a, a look from our Azalea cam. And 13. <laughs> we'll land it on the upper ledge. That's right where he walked, Nick. Yeah. That's got excellent pace, isn't it? Wow, that's just gorgeous. Scrambling has been the best this week. I mean, it's like the shot he hit last evening at 18. For way beyond the green. Show that deaf touch as he did right here. It's something about the trust you get. Obviously, you get once you've seen a few shots and you get a, a great resolve, gives you that little bit of confidence. You can you can read the shots before you play them. 15. Downhill lie, little into the wind. Needs to land at about four yards short of the hole with a lot of spin. And it's not quite going to get up that ridge. But still not bad there. 10 or 12 feet up the hill for his birdie. Back to 13. Really in here tight is Shoffley coming off birdie at 12. And Hideki seeing how close he was had to feel just a little bit of 
Oh, pressure on that third Ab shot he just had. Absolutely. He wanted to get inside him, number one priority. And just in case he pops this in, he's only going to lose one. Xander, born and raised in San Diego, grew up playing Torrey Pines as a youngster. The site of this summer's United States Open. Stayed home to go to San Diego State. Won a Cal State Amateur in 2014, which was held in the area at La Costa. And the Masters has a very rich history with golfers from his hometown of San Diego. Champions like Billy Casper, Craig Stadler, and of course, Phil Mickelson. Pot that likes to hang a little straighter than sometimes the players believe. He's given up on it. Decky is probably going to match him with a four. So birdie it is. Shoffley into second alone at eight under. Well, it's a nice turnaround after that uh, really horrid start. Remember that was a good double in some respects. Yeah. So he had to get up and down with his second try from the sand. And four birdies after that to get back to eight under. It's very much like the round he played on on Friday when he you know shot 69 and didn't look like he got anything out of it. Another birdie for Matsuyama. Regains the shot dropped to 12. So important just to pick the power fives off. So it gives you that cushion that if you. If you are bogey the odd hole, you're still going forwards on the scoreboard. How about that 12 under through 15 par fives played this week. Let's go to 14. Approach for Rose. Didn't seem to like it, but the end result. I'll give him another chance to make birdie. Yeah, he thought he just missed the bowl, but he's right on the edge of it. To 15. Can Zalatoris hit it a long way down there? Try and make an eagle here. Made one in the first round. He's played this hole beautifully all week. So he's got the first part of that done. Perfect tee shot. Back to 14. A big leaderboard, uh, no no secrets anymore. Everyone knows exactly where they stand. Tee shot for Shoffley. That ought to be just fine, Andrew. Mm, sure will. Fifteenth major start for Xander, and it looks like it's going to be his eleventh top twenty finish. He did clatter in the trees left yesterday. Matsuyama at 14. Well, earlier today, you heard from the Tokyo Broadcasting System. How about the third at 13? Hi, this angle. Good place. 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 Mukatteru, 
That's so good. And I think, Vern, they were saying, in your life, have you ever seen? No. What a shot by Matsuyama. After two <laughs> shots at 13 that weren't his best, he was still able to make birdie there after that beautiful third. Now, Rose, birdie at 14. If Tokyo keeps saying birdie chance all the way in, then it's, it will be a lock for Hideki. Frustrating par there for Rose as we go to 15. And Spieth trying to make his fifth birdie in his last seven holes. Oh, just hung out there. All set up with a poor tee shot. But isn't it great to see the three-time major champion back playing well? But Matsuyama heading up the 14th fairway at 13 under and a five-shot lead. On the tee at 16, Jordan Spieth. Well, needs to chat again with Michael Griller. We're supposed to go to West around now, wasn't it? Yeah. That's your it changes my shot completely. Yes, yeah, so you can play a more right of it. And, yeah. And draw. Now then, seven iron. You know, if only we could get him to express himself. Let's and go to 13, 14. Baby and here boy. at 14, Dottie, these are two of the better drives we've seen at 14. Matsuyama will be first. So good that Matsuyama has just a gap wedge in his hand. Same whole location they used in, used in the final round of the Anwa for the women a week ago Saturday. 125 total, 109 to the top. Oh, Lanson in a good spot. And Matsuyama will have another great look at birdie. Top 10 strokes gained approach each of the previous seven seasons on tour. So we go up to 15. And Zelatoris. Giving it a go here. That breeze just swirling around down in the valley. Okay, that's in the bunker. Won't be too bad to where the hole is located today. Lots of green to work with. Like Back to 14. I mean, minimum up top is... I just need to make one sure three. it goes, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think 107 would be a smarter number. Okay. A safer one? Yeah. I like you it. That? Like I said, if it lands on the pen, it's going to dig in and touch more. Sure. It's a perfect 100 yards to the top deck. Breeze is helping. Sand wedge. This will work back. Nice. This will work back nicely for Shoffley. Xander is dialed in. This was the hole where in 2019 he took the lead for a brief moment before Tiger went on to win as we go up to 15. And a decision to be made for Zalatoris here, exactly what style of shot he wants to play. If he wants to go for the chunk and run, or something that flies a little further down there and grabs on that second bounce. Oh 
went for the first option. And this is beautifully judged. What a fantastic shot from Will Zalatoris. This man's a real craftsman, isn't he? Wow. Sure is. Back to 14. 25 of the last 30 Masters champions have come from the final pairing as the final pairing has made their way here to the 14th green and Matsuyama will be first. Mentioned a two time Asia Pacific amateur champion and yesterday he said I owe a deep debt of gratitude to the members of Augusta National because I wouldn't be here today without them low amateur 10 years ago. And now a five shot lead at the final round of the 85th Masters. It may be a five shot lead, Andrew, but Xander Shoffley's not letting him feel like it's a five shot lead. <laughs> Keeping that pedal down, making Hideki have to perform, have to respond. And no doubt about it, Dottie. That's the closest we've seen today at 14. Xander, you see his mark. It's been 87 starts since his last win four years ago in Akron. That was a masterful closing round. I can promise you I watched all 61 shots of it. <laughs> and Dottie, he has to be firm with this putt here. Yeah, you're fighting up against the hill that is this entire golf course. Did not come back. Look from above here on another glorious day at Augusta National. Think of Gary Player's favorite quote. If they have a golf course like this in heaven, I want to be the head pro. And a par for Matsuyama to remain at 13 under. They've got this just inside two feet for Shoffley. Nine under. And within four of Matsuyama. Three consecutive birdies for Xander Shoffley to get to nine under par. Mentioned Matsuyama, two time Asia Pacific amateur champion 2010 and 2011. And just what that tournament meant not only for him but future generations the low amateur in 2011 he would be the seventh to be low amateur at the masters and then go on to win the green jacket as he walks back to the 15th teeing area and up on the green Zalatoris now to convert off to that great bunker shot there you go what a impressive performance as a first timer, a lot of people talking about him coming into this week, and he has delivered. Going to be a lot of fun to watch him over the next few years. Back up the hill to the tee now. Over to 16 first. And here is uh, Jordan's response to a nine year 
absence from this position. Don't think it got it high enough, Fern. It's a fine line. You keep hitting it to the right, you could possibly leave it up there. And 15. And Rose with the ball well above his feet here. You can see him looking way out to the right. Going to be trying to sling this one in from right to left. Dead calm down at the green right now. Just gripping down on it a little bit. Look how far right that started. Is it going to come back enough? Caught the trees. Yeah, just settle there. Settle there. Oh, no. That is a terrible mistake. Come down in the water. Up to 16. And Jordan for three. So he'll head to 17 at seven under. Let's go back to 15. And Shoffley, looks like he's set to go, Dotty. He will be first to play, yes. We'll breeze in. What's interesting is that he's actually in the first three rounds only hit this fairway once. Yeah, Friday it was a big miss to the left. I was actually fortunate to have a, a little gap to be able to pitch a second through. Still has played the hole at three under for the week. Tempo has gotten better and better as the day's gone on. Teed up all the way on the right hand side, trying to cut it back into the middle of the fairway, and it's just cambering down to the left now, but should be far enough down there to where he'll have some kind of shot. Now Leishman, his third, coming off the down slope. Just trying to hang on to the edge of that ridge there. Not bad. Now back to the leader, Matsuyama. Potentially the last time he has to hit driver today. Okay. Going for the T early. That is perfect. Getting closer and closer. Up to 16. And on the T, 24 year old Will. Zalatoris. <laughs> Bit strong. Well, the highest finishes ever by a Japanese player at Augusta, Toshi Izawa, tied for fourth in 01. Shingo Katayama fourth solo in 09. And Matsuyama finished fifth in 2015 when Jordan won. But now he's four in front, playing the 15th in the final round. And off to the penalty drop, Rose is fourth now. Been a 
tough last few days for Justin. Has not had his best stuff and been a little struggle. Up to 16. Zalatoris for birdie. You know, Will earlier told a wonderful story about playing with Jordan Spieth when he was nine. Jordan was 11. They established a friendship that remains very strong to this day. Let's go to 15. And Leishman for birdie here. And this group has not had any momentum going today. Rose comes to this hole one over for the round and then hits it in the water. Leishman two over for the round. Huge leaderboard here next to the 15th green so players can get a good look at exactly where they stand, what's going on. It's interesting, Trevor. He had a took he took a month off or, or, and obviously practiced extremely hard. All he saw was all those great positive shots, no negatives. For a full month, you come, played an absolute incredible period through the round, nine under for ten holes, mm. and then guess what? We start to think about it. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it sure is. All of a sudden, the expectation level goes up. And this course, as always, has been on a knife edge this week. To save par. And yesterday on the second nine, we saw him make a number of those length putts just to keep himself in it. Back in the fairway. Matsuyama looking down the hill at what he faces, trying to gather his thoughts. Well, considering the magnitude, he looks really calm, which he obviously got to be on. Calm, relaxed, but with the intensity on the inside. Leishman to clean up for par. So this pairing clears the way on 15. That final group standing back up on top of the hill. Up to 17. Where Jordan Spieth has hit a perfect drive, top of the hill. Wind quite calm up here at the moment. Looking for his fifth top five here in the Masters. Two seconds, a third, a win. Currently in outright fourth, a good chance to get to eight under. Back at 15. And Matsuyama getting set to play. He stands at the top of the hill with a four iron in his hand. 219 to the front, 236 to the hole. directly at it softly softly oh no just came out so low and took a huge yeah. bounce off that downslope Nick I thought he'd go with a you know a fade against the breeze to hold it up he just pulls it a hair and rockets through rockets through can't imagine what Tokyo TV sounds like now all right, now what's Shuffley got? He has 201. He can look at the right bunker and move the ball to the left from there. Two tree limbs to factor in. In the flat. 
Okay, in the bunker, we saw Zalatoris get up and down from there not so long ago. As we take a look at this second shot again, just came out so much lower than what you ordinarily would see him hit a long iron. And just take a look at this first bounce. That's about a 10 to 12 yard skip and never had a chance of staying dry. Oh, man. His heart will be racing right now. So he's going to get down there and figure out exactly what his options are, best place for him to drop. Start to factor in what the lead is. Four right now, Shoffley's in the bunker in two. A lot of things going through his mind right now. And Nick just mentioned the Tokyo Broadcasting. Let's take a listen. Everybody on the edge of their seats right now, Nick. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what Japan is is like right now? I mean. He just had to keep it dry. That's all he had to do. And now we, we have, could have a two or maybe even a three shot swing. Up to 17. It's never over till it's over. Speed for birdie. Wow, he had a good chance to look at Brian Harmon's putt just before him. But uh, that slow start for Jordan. Three bogeys the first few holes. That, he'll look back at that. As we go to 16. Mark Leishman. Moment ago. thought as we thought perhaps let's go back to 15 and the drama so rules official in place making sure that he gets this penalty drop correct that's a two club length penalty drop So he's going to be hitting his fourth shot now, Doddy, and still no bargain. This very difficult yeah. coming back up a steep slope here. Yeah, you cannot see the bottom of the flag stick even from where he is. There's such elevation change. Do you know, guys, I, I would try to just play to the edge of the green. I wouldn't even try to get it on. If it fell on fan, I'd chip it up to maybe three or four paces short and then get up and down from there. Because if you go for this and it goes wrong, you're back in the water on the other side. Oh, you're looking at eight, maybe nine from there. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, don't I agree with you. Just some kind of layup right almost there. right I mean, to where could, he is. If you could finish there. But I hate the way he's probably thinking, I will lob it, land it there, skip it. and. But especially with a couple of, you know, four shots kind of in your pocket, maybe shuffling obviously gets up and down gets to 10 you spend one here you're still two ahead and the applause you heard there was mark leishman tapping in for his birdie up at 16.
Mind you, Trevor's golfers, we don't really think that way, do we? We'd we, be thinking, oh, he, actually, he is going well left. He's got a bit of tree trouble, hasn't he? To take a direct route, Doddy. No, I think he's okay there. No, I, okay. I think he's okay. All right. uh, my concern, Nick, is that he's got this club bladed pretty wide open. Yeah, he's going for it. That's, I was going to say, he's, they don't think the strategy way to keep going for it. Okay, it was a good solid strike, but leaving it right where you thought he should, Nick. Yeah, I think you, uh, if you've got him in your pocket, maybe you just you use one more here. <laughs> now, Xander took a little time while Matsuyama was dropping to actually read the spunker shot. It's sitting beautifully. It will be speedy, but controllable. Gotten an up and in from one bunker today, or all you all week, excuse me, just one. Little grab on the second bounce, and now feeding down there perfectly. Oh, what a shot! Two chip shots and one bunker shot, probably a total of two feet from the hole. Man, that looked like it was going to go in with three or four feet left. And Shoffley is just heaping the pressure on Matsuyama right now. Things just got very interesting here. Just watch this reaction right here. Patrons behind. So that means it looked good for 99% of yeah. the way. <laughs> Doddy, this putt right here is going to have a lot of break from his left. Absolutely, it will. And you also have to just gauge and believe how it's going to come out of this first three or four feet. Well, the thing that messes with your mind is you have to hit it quite firm to get it through the mm -hmm. fringe to the green, and then it's real quick from there. He has not broke from his routine. Not once. Had the line, just got caught up in the fringe, up to 17. And Will Zalatoris, what a first Masters it's been for this young man. The pride of Wake Forest and another great shot. I just love his style of play, isn't it? It's, it's basically make a decision, have a look. And go. And, and go, I yeah. mean, how refreshing is that? You had had 100 guys like that on Toby round in three hours. So Matsuyama now cleaning up for this bogey. Still needs to pay attention. Inside left. How things have changed in the last 10 minutes. Especially if Xander swoops one in there for uh, you know another possible gimme two at 16. What an up and down. It's game on. The lead is down to two. And four birdies in a row for Shoffley. Up to 18. Spieth on the tee. He's four back.
Oh, come in early and say, watch out for Jordan Spieth, the key where it's going to yeah. be windy. It's a scramble as, <laughs> wouldn't say paradise, it's brutally difficult around the green. So Jordan must be licking his chops to get to the, the PGA. Where he'll be going for the career slam. Mm. Let's go to 17. And this to get to nine under. Absolutely fantastic for the young man in just his third major championship, a sixth at the US Open, and now in third place in his first Masters. Let's go back to 16. And uh, Matsuyama and Shoffley on the tee. Nick, I, I, my mind flashed back to 1986 when Jack was training by two and Seve Ballesteros at 15 put it yeah. in the front pond. It's funny, that was a four iron as well. Seve uh, toe hooked it and wrecked his career from there on. That's how the knife edge of our game is. Jack went on, of course, to birdie 17, took the lead at the age of 46. And won his sixth. And what a reversal for Xander Shoffley. Front nine, first nine, second nine. That's what it is right now, that's what it is. Look at that, six under Seven up in there. the last nine holes. Okay. Yep. Wind is in the player's face and from the left, Vern. This is an eight iron. Extremely high, just right of the flag. Definitely in the water. There are the ripples. It hit a wall of wind. So he will have to head to the, head to the drop zone. And that should give Matsuyama a little breathing room. Well, if he wants to steal the deal, he makes the two. Well, many champions make a two at the 16th. Well, I think this is a very safe club. Yesterday he hit eight. This is a seven. He's running with a lot of adrenaline. I wouldn't want to leave it on the back of the green, though. See if he takes some off grips down a little bit. He does have that flighted shot for sure. to the safe side. That's where Jordan hit it. So we know that putt. <laughs> I just thought that. He's got to putt it around the mini scoreboard in the corner of the screen there. Well, he had a bit of a smile as he walked it. Now Xander Shopley has to head to the drop zone. Oof. The drop zone's no fun. It's still uh, 145 yards to go. Indeed. Let's go to 18. And Jordan for his second shot. Got to get up. Sometimes when you're coming uphill downwind, it doesn't get airborne enough and doesn't carry. As you know, Nick, that is not an easy two putt at 16 at all for no, Matsuyama. So don't even no way we think just, about Zalatoris being out of this either. You know, if he no. was to birdie 18 and get in a 10 under, 
I, we just saw what Jordan Spieth did. I don't. If you have to play sensibly, you've got to get it down there. Can't risk it. You you will end up ten feet at best. Shoffley backs off. If you get a front row seat, you have to show some agility. To 18. Yeah, Zalator is coming off a birdie at 17. Can he get in at 10 under? Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, let's go of it. He's headed to the bunker. Straight in the first bunker. But with the short, with the uh, sh front hole location, it's, it's still doable. Up ahead, Jordan. We've seen so many come close here from this very area. Oh, that didn't carry. Don't, that didn't need to land short of the green. <laughs> to think that when the lead pair was on the 12th tee. Shoffley wasn't in second. In fact, he was seven back. He was six under. Hideki was 13 under. He was seven back. And by the 16th tee, the margin was two. But now Xander making a mess of things here at 16. His reaction. Vern. I'll take a breath and give it back to you. Let's see if uh, Spieth can make par. It's for a round of 69. Oh boy. Wow, from the middle of the fairway, perfect. He's got a bunch of fourth place finishes this year. Of course, he's got the win a week ago. It completely changed things. Round of 70. It didn't look like a 70 when he was playing the ninth. They turned things around with a putt there. 17. And Mark Leishman. Go, Mark. Go. 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 Okay, not so bad. Really <laughs> Just to bogey on the first hole. Slow start. Some excitement over here at 16 Green, Vern. Indeed. Dottie, Nick, why don't you guys take it until he makes this shot? Well, Vern, I, I go back to what Xander said about him being in, in the the tournament a couple of years ago when Tiger won it. He said, you know, he got caught up in the moment himself. I don't sense that happened this time. I sense he hit a really bad shot at a at mm. a terrible time. He yeah. was he was in the moment. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't get caught up in it. He was right oh, where he needed to be. The T-shirt was a little fat, and there maybe was a rush of blood on the next one. This gives you some idea how quick this is, and he still leaves it top side. That's not the place to leave it. Mm. Back to 18. Nope. And uh, Zalatoris. Uh, that's headed the right field. Oh, that's helpful to spin back to give him an angle. Otherwise, he's been lobbing it over the corner of the bunker. Back to 16, where Hideki faces that difficult putt. Mm. Shoffley has already struck it four times. Back is completely to the hole. Mm. Actually, that shadow is a fantastic. I mean, the bright, send it into the bright part there, all the way to that. That shadow dark line. And you watch it gather speed now. <laughs> 
back to 18 for the third shot of Zalatoris. Well, if he could hold it. If. Oh, oh what hands happened. on the down slope. Mm -mm -mm. So. I would throw it back to Vern and say, Vern, if Hideki holds that, that could be the cushion he needs. Yeah, we'll go to 17 first. Yes, where Mark Leishman has this for birdie. Remember, he finished fourth back in 13, playing with Adam Scott when he won. I think the big Australian might have a, a Masters victory in his future at the way he plays here. He'd look good in a 44 long green jacket, I think. But today, just back in a tie for fifth with John Rahm so far. To 16. Well, Hideki is not thinking about uh, anything right now other than getting this close in the meantime. No. No, he wants to hold it, Vern. If Hideki holds out for three, Sanders obviously going to drop one. And Will at 18 is in a bit of trouble. Wow. He's got that much for triple bogey. And there is a big leaderboard back there behind six, but Salatoris' score, the way things are timing out, will not be posted before Hideki has an opportunity to know what he makes at the 18th. Well, basically hold this three shot lead with two to play. Yeah, no, there's nothing else in your mindset yeah, exactly. to make this. Should be one ball outside left edge. Nice and firm. Oh, yeah, he's thinking the same thing. Well, with a bogey. He is at 11 under still. And Shoffley has never made a triple bogey in a major in 1,041 previous holes. Remarkable. When he was a boy, Matsuyama was asked about his earliest memories. And he said, well, Jack in yellow or Tiger in red. Let's go to 18. Okay, so this is for par and this to be two back and in the clubhouse at nine under. Could he do it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes! What a performance all week by Will Zalatoris. Under par every round. 70 today. Let's go to the 17th. Wow, what a putt. What a putt. The noise didn't make it down here though, Ian. No, he has to forget about everything else but this tee shot, Dottie. He needs to make four good swings from here to the clubhouse. Well, there's one of them. Perfect solid drive up the center, right up on top of the hill. Made birdie here yesterday, some good thoughts, good images. 
Just has to leave his second shot below the hole here. Don't get too aggressive. Now Xander, shake off the six. If he can finish birdie, birdie, and Hideki stumbles, he can still be right there, tied with Zalatoris at nine under. Good drive, but may have just a little bit of tree trouble on top of the hill. Well, Hideki Matsuyama will be an icon in Japan if he can get this done this afternoon. The Ichiban golfer ever to play and represent Japan. As the final pairing make their way up the hill, past the area where the old Eisenhower tree used to be placed down the left-hand side, for it fell in an ice storm of many years back. Lots of thoughts there as we head up to 18 in the second to last group. It's Mark Leishman in the tie for fifth with Rom. Gosh, these guys have all of a sudden that you they're drained. Plus, they know they can't win, but uh, starting to get a little sloppy, isn't it, in places? Mm -hmm. I think Xander just had a look of shock. Yeah. To think that he had made that run with peeling off four consecutive birdies, and you just don't see balls in the water anymore at 16. Used to years ago. And uh, then to hit the poor third shot after the drop and to make a triple. At that time when he owned the tee, one good swing, yeah. curled up close to the hole, and who knows what this would have been. Have you noticed his demeanor change at all, Ian Hideki? No, he gets a sort of a sheepish grin or look on his face when he gets embarrassed. That's a typical trait of uh, many of the Japanese players I've played with. He, he feels embarrassed when he doesn't hit a good one. But he's such a, a wonderful team player and all the President's Cups he's been in. All the players love him and really respect him and his abilities and the way he is. Uh, an interesting side note here is both players were taught by their dads all the way up till, uh, well, Stefan. Xander's dad is still his coach and only coach ever. But just recently this year, Hidenori Mizawa uh, started to coach Hideki Matsuyama. He had his dad right up until now, until this year. Worked on his game himself under that tutelage. And it was Hidenori Mizawa this year that tried to help him get rid of that, uh, All still, that, please. that little pause at the top that at times got a little bit too much of a pause. But it looks good today, Dottie. You've watched him all day. He's, uh, the swings have been good and solid and sound. Yeah, I, I would say uh, they were true to his golf swing, but just made the transition a little more um, straightforward. Uh, there was less things to time out. Pitching wedge here, Ian. It's right on line. Oh, it's a perfect spot to leave it. Uphill putt, 15 feet or so, good safe shot. That's all he needs is a couple of fours. Easy to say, isn't it? I mean, that should cover that, no problem. Yeah. With, the, with the left, draw. That'd be great. Yeah. Xander has a gap wedge. That breeze helping. 105 front. 
Stay up on top there, don't move left. Oh, it just keeps creeping down that bank. That'll be a difficult putt. Well, unfortunately for Xander, he's going to have to hold that and make three up the last to have any chance at all. That triple bogey at 16, very costly. Up at 18. Yeah, this was a moment ago, Leishman. Well played. Knocked that in for a round of 73. Now we're live with Rose. We had the four shot lead on Thursday. Led going into Saturday by one. Come on now. <laughs> Give him one more memory. Do it. <laughs> All right. For a round of 74. Tell you, Nick, I'll never forget that stretch he had. He was nine under through a 10 hole stretch on Thursday, part of the 18th, nine for his last 11. When the golf course was impossible. It's just beyond we had two, logic. We had two 69s, that's what we kind of predicted. Mm -hmm. So how he did that, uh, it was remarkable. <laughs> Crazy like this one. <laughs> As long as the roar doesn't scare Hideki, thinking, "Oh, who's done that yeah, at 18? What was that? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, was that is Alatorres in or not? I don't know. Did he do something? Has he finished? He might not know. Leishman. That'll be a tie for fifth with Rom. Rose will finish seventh solo. Back to 17. Well, I've been watching Hideki throughout that uh, last couple of minutes, and Dottie, I didn't notice him look at the board. Zalatoris has been posted at nine under, but I couldn't tell whether. I know his caddy's seen it. Yeah, he hasn't. Um, he really hasn't lifted his head. He's, he's. Nothing's different about right now than it was all day long for him. Now, Xander, up the hill and over. Up the hill and over, but going in the fast direction. This putt fools so many players. I've seen one player today putt it off the green from mm -hmm. there, and a number putt it down further away than Hideki's. Marvelous effort. Really, really good to get it just within four feet. Remember, he was second here to Tiger Woods back in 2019. Always enjoys coming back and has had many, many top tens already in major championship competition. So he's a favorite for, by all of us that, that know the game and follow over the last few years. Xander's going to be around a long while. Good swing, hard worker. Now Hideki. Boy, if he could knock this in and take a three shot lead to the last, you'd have to think that was it, Nick. A hundred percent. That's exactly what he's thinking. Give me one more shot for a cushion. It's just so cool that he has not broke stride. I mean, nothing has changed from the first hole. He was in a position where he could have panicked and didn't, and it's stayed the same all day. Same routine each time. Gets himself firm and settled. Well, a little tentative, up to a foot short of the hole. But he certainly has his hand on the collar of that green jacket. And in Japan, they are on the edge of their seats. 
They know exactly what a green jacket is and they know exactly what the Masters means in the world of golf. And this man is heading off to the last hole with a two shot lead over Will Zalatoris. Like Tiger back in 19, he can make bogey and still win. But Xander with a little tidying up to do here. About four feet or so left for his par to remain in a tie for third with Jordan Spieth. It means so much, obviously, to win, but just being there with a chance each time you learn from it. Come back stronger the next time you get a chance to be in the fight. I think right about now, Xander's tired of hearing that. <laughs> He's been in the fight a lot lately and just mm. wants to take a trophy home. Yeah, I agree. Really good solid two putt there for Xander Shoffley. They'll head to the 72nd hole. And Hideki Matsuyama set to become a legend in his home country of Japan. Deservedly so. Jim, Nick, take it away. Well, it certainly got interesting coming off the 15th. All of a sudden, what seemed insurmountable was down to just a couple of shots. And you look back on it after that ball found the water long at the 15th. It was actually a good six from that point on. Nick, he played it, it precisely was. as you prescribed. Absolutely. That was a, a very sensible six. And obviously he got very fortunate to gain both to gain a shot on uh, on Sander on the 16th. But but Will is now in, so he still needs a five. Yes, yeah, still needs a five to win, which still requires, you know, make it sensible. If you hit, if you knock it in the trees, you've still got to, you've got to scramble it out in the right place, or you nail it down the fairway. the key shot it was the 12 before it even got to the follow through yeah just just right of the song would be perfect a little more room with that up there he knows that one was huge he had to have it take some numbers out of play yeah, that was two great two great tee shots 17 and 18. That's a good one too. Yeah, good shape. All oh, the thoughts that are circling inside his head. And he knew that this had to find the fairway. And there would be a little twirl. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's called relief. Jota Heyufoji, his caddy. And you might have seen Jota applauding after that tee shot. How about this? <laughs> 
staying loose over on the tournament practice facility. Augusta member George Davis is going to help escort him. Keep him apprised of what's going on. How about that Nick. Yeah that's smart thinking to be honest just in case but you know one more great shot anywhere on the green and then that's it. And he's enjoying himself, which is great. I, mean, I, I got to say, we taught. It is definite that he has carried the weight of all the enthusiasm of all those Japanese golfers for many years. And this man is gonna looks like he's gonna do it. He's it, and what it will do for young Asian golfers, and you know maybe uh, for non-golfers to, to take up this great, great game. He's a wonderful. 29 year old man. We've known him since he was 19. 10 years apart. We actually was 18 when he won the Asian Pacific Amateur that brought him to Augusta at the age of 19 and was low M and just. <laughs> yep, here he was paying the visit 10 years ago to the day yesterday. And just one shot on the green away and we can start talking about him returning to Butler. Goes 10 years between visits and then maybe 24 hours. But this is the beauty of growing the game. You just alluded mm. to it, Nick, and how he's going to inspire, motivate, and and give the, the the vision of what it takes to so many golfers around the world, particularly back in Japan. I mean, that's the reason why there has been such an investment on trying yeah. to grow the game. Uh, through this club through the Asian Pacific amateur through the Latin America amateur through the drive chip and putt yeah. through the Augusta National Women's Amateur and now you're going to see for the first time right. a product of that yes go from coming to the Masters as a result of one of those events manifesting itself now into being a Masters champion the original concept and mantra behind it all was to quote create heroes. Well guess what. Yes. He's about to be one. This man's going to be a mega hero in ages Asia. It's just beautifully positioned he can just. Got the, got the TV tower for something solid to aim at. He knows there's a backstop, just got to pull the right club. The wind has dropped. Everything is perfect for him right now. And the club in his hand is a pitching wedge from 134. 125 front. it to the right side. Oh. Not what I thought with a wedge in his hand. Definitely not. It's not supposed to be easy to win your first major is it. Well I can Gosh. tell you that Arnold Palmer. Yeah. In 1961 had the two shot lead coming here hit it in that right green side bunker ended up making a six. I think Arnold was plugged. Yeah. But that's not. And it led to Gary Player becoming yeah. the first international player to win the green jacket. You can be a little more aggressive because it banks off too. It banks off too. It's actually a one shot lead when Arnold was playing 18. But now here you got Shoffley. It's tied for third with Spieth. 129 for Xander off that uphill lie. Right side also. That'll but work. Yes, it will. We've seen that one already today. Hideki, who has homes in Sendai, Japan, and Windermere, Florida. Again, his family. 
isn't here. They're back in Japan watching. His wife, May. His little girl, Kana. Advantage, Nicky does have the ball on the upslope. Yeah, and it's just a, the perfect little chunk and run. Just thump it out the bunker, and it's got to get there. And there's a tiny little back lip past the flag, so in theory, so I have going to be eight foot short or six foot past. Well, he's been scrambling all week, just impeccable around the greens, including right on this stage yesterday from behind the 18th. Maybe you can show off those skills one more time and lock this up. That's all it took. Just take two putts from there to win it. You know, Nick, you played with so many of the so many of the great Japanese yes. players, and I can't help but think of them now. Uh, the Ozaki brothers, Seo Aoki, who battled with Jack at Baltusrol in the U.S. Open in 1980. Nakajima, Katayama, Mariyama. We knew it was going to happen. Ishikawa, of course. You just, we were been yeah. waiting for years to see this moment. I've really. been asked. I've been going to Japan, well, 40-plus years. First went late 70s, and we were always asked um, about Asian golf, Japanese golf, what would happen. And, and I said, give it time. It this not, doesn't happen overnight. This could be a 10-year program, a 20-year program to get there. And I'm sure the, you know, the Masters Foundation must be so proud. They start an event in, in Asia. And I'm sure in their wildest dreams, they probably thought, wouldn't it be great if we got an Asian golfer maybe in the close or maybe a winner? Well, it has all come true. So they must feel incredibly proud of that whole initiative to inspire the world of golf, obviously they do the same then in Latin America. Maybe, let's say another 10 years time, somebody from, comes from Latin America to, to win the Masters. Shoffley, the holes that he takes third alone. Instead, he'll share it with Jordan. It's an even par 72. The number might look mundane, but look at all that yeah. happened here. A double at five, the triple at 16, the six birdies in between, including four in a row. Mm. Shoffley now will have a second and a third at Augusta in the last three years. Just line this up, make it roll, and he should make it. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> right down to the wire. Who predicted that by one? Matsuyama is Japan's first Masters champion.
Kevin Na. The final margin ends up, Nick, being just one. Yeah. Matsuyama at 10, Zalatoris at 9. But, Jim, you know my line. Every shot is history. Uh, this man has created some amazing history. Jordan Spieth and Mark Leishman waited around to congratulate the new champion. Matsuyama makes history. Will Zalatoris finishes second alone. Spieth and Shopley share third. Then it's Rahm and Leishman fifth. Rose in seventh. And while Hideki signs the card and then makes his way to Butler Cabin, we're going to go down to Amanda. Thanks, Jim. Here with Will Zalatoris. Will, you might not have won but you have certainly arrived. This was an unbelievable week. Can you just explain the psychology of being able to stay within yourself in the moment and contend up until the very last stretch on Sunday at the Masters? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> but um, but I think, you know, I, I just, I, I've wanted to be on the stage for forever, you know, for basically my entire life. So I think if anything, you know, it's like you finally get to, this moment and why shy away now? I've gotten here, so you know, let's go do some damage and it was a fun week. The maturity has been incredible. You told me you've had your phone off all week. You <laughs> haven't even turned it on, so good luck when you do turn it on. But what have you learned about yourself, both emotionally and also about your game that's going to pay dividends now moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I can play with the best players in the world. And, you know, I felt that I played well this week, but you know, I felt like I le left a lot out there. So you know, the first one's coming. I just got to keep plotting. And obviously, you know, to, for my first time to really be in contention to be at the Masters is pretty special. It was fun to watch. And Jim, he's still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can see it. And yes, we have a new star in Hideki and another one in Will Zalatoris, who got a lesson at the age of six, raised uh, out there at first in San Francisco at the Cal Club by our old colleague and Hall of Famer Ken Venturi. He remembered it saying, Mr. Venturi, watch me hit balls on the range and showed me how to hold a club. And then he told my parents, this kid loves it. Your job is to stay out of the way. <laughs> well, his parents have been a huge influence in his life, his father Richard, his mother Catherine. I can't imagine the pride they feel in that finish. But this day belongs to Hideki Matsuyama. Nick, some final thoughts. Well, this is it's a huge Huge inspiration, huge, wonderful re result for global golf. Um, you know, Asia's been waiting for this. Japan has been waiting for us. And this is the man who they really believed in could do it. And he proved it today. And my goodness, it, it's going to cause a, a fantastic ripple effect in, in our great game. 
and how about his future? Where does he take it from here? Well, like many, I mean, it, it, this could be setting him free because we talked about this pressure for somebody to be able to handle it and find a way. He, his, his demeanor on the golf course was just perfect today. So how, if he's got the trick, um, sky's the limit for both these players, Matsuyama and Zalatoris. I mean, that man is so impressive. He's earned it the hard way. He's come up rapidly. You know, he's, he hasn't asked for invites or anything. He's, he's just gone out and won. The, the easiest way to get to the top of the leaderboard is win. There is some celebration going on right now halfway around the world. It's just after 8 o'clock in the morning back in Japan. Japan rejoices. It's a glorious new day as Hideki Matsuyama has won the Masters Tournament. The Masters is sponsored by Mercedes-Benz, proud global partner of the 2021 Masters. AT&T, fast, reliable, and secure. And by IBM. The world is going hybrid with IBM. Hideki Matsuyama, he opened this day four in front. Early, it had been trimmed to one, but then he responded. At one point, the lead had swelled to six when suddenly Xander Shoffley's game awakened with four straight birdies. And then after Matsuyama found the water with his second at 15, there was uh, a nervous moment or two to say the least here at Augusta as the lead suddenly had been trimmed to two. Things changed though at 16 when Xander found the water off the tee and he is standing by right now with Amanda. Here with Xander and I know this one hurts but you just told me we're gonna be okay. You're coming off four straight birdies. You're within two of Hideki and then you come to 16. Talk me through that entire stretch. Yeah, I, I mean, I was coming in hot. I, uh, I was feeling good. Um, Hideki surprisingly went for the green on uh, on 15. So I had a little, I felt like he gave me a little bit of hope there and maybe a little hyper aggressive there on 16. Um, I've been told so many things by so many veterans. Play the wind you feel. Um, Austin and I, it was 184. We felt down cut at the moment and I hit an eight iron. I, I flushed it and it was not down cut. Um, and then on my, uh, my drop with a nine iron, it seemed like it went downwind almost. So that's the hard part about winning out here. You know, I think maybe I could try and hit a different shot there, maybe left to right instead of, you know, right to left, which I'm more comfortable with. And that's definitely going to go in the memory bank. Well, it says Justin Rose says sometimes Augusta National just happens. But I thought Dottie made a great point. She said it's quick to just say that you got caught up in the moment. She said, I don't think that's what happened. I, I just think it's a, t it's a tough golf shot. Would you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, I'm chasing. So yeah. if I had a lead, I would have, you know, bailed out right. Um, or try to hit some sort of high left to right ball to the right. And I think that is the shot on the hole, which I just haven't hit enough. Um, but no, I, I hit a perfect shot. I told Austin I, I flushed it, which makes it even worse. Um, we can share the misery together, but I, I fought hard. You know, it was it was a messy start. Hideki was uh, robot-like uh, for 13 holes. Um, didn't make a mistake. And I felt like I gave him a little bit of run and a little bit of excitement to the tournament there at the end. And unfortunately, uh, hit it in the drink there. It's golf. Things happen. And moving forward, there's always those two options of it turning into scar tissue or using it as a learning lesson and motivation moving forward. How do you do the latter? Yeah. I mean, if you look at my career, you could call it a big ball of scar tissue with a bunch of second places. So um, I don't look at it that way. I don't think my team looks at it that way. So I'll sleep on it. You know, I, I hit a good shot. I committed to it. It, it turned out bad. You know, I'll, I'll be able to sleep tonight. Might might be tossing and turning, but I'll be okay. I can't tell you how much we appreciate the time, Xander. Of course. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Amanda, thank you. What a super attitude. What has to be hard to resolve in your mind as you were making the move.
closing in on Hideki, who goes on to win it by one over Will Zalatoris. Here's a look at the top 12 and ties. Of course, pertinent because those who finish inside that category get the invitation to next year. Includes the likes of Robert McIntyre, who was Masters rookie as well. His first career win, first Japanese man to win a major, and the seventh low amateur to go on and eventually win the green jacket, joining Kerry Middlecoff, Jack Nicholas, Ben Crenshaw, Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods, Sergio Garcia, and now add Hideki to that list. It is time for that time-honored tradition, the presentation of the green jacket. I, I don't know what to say at the moment. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to talk. Having to be such a tough quest to finally win, it feels that much better. You know, I've never played an entire tournament with my A game, and this is pretty close. I really am so proud to have won this great championship. It's the most nerve-wracking golf course in the world, isn't it? Oof, it's been such a long time coming. I can't tell you how fortunate I am to, to win this tournament. I'm probably as happy as I've ever been in my life. To win the Masters tournament is just an amazing feeling. I just really don't know what to say to uh, come back down out of the clouds one of these days. I never got this far in my dreams <laughs> to talk. I just couldn't be more excited and, you know, I'm kind of at a loss for words. <laughs> I can't even talk. Yeah, we've seen that many times before. We'd like to welcome the world to Butler Cabin. What a pleasure it is to be with Augusta National Chairman Fred Ridley. And we were here five months ago. That was memorable, and so was today. Uh, it sure was, Jim. Uh, after the historic Masters last fall, it's great to be back at Augusta National in April. The golf course provided a great test for these wonderful players, and they certainly responded. Well, it's the first time since 2015 that we didn't have an amateur make the cut. You know how vital that is to the history of this tournament. You competed here as an amateur three times yourself. I did, Jim. And as you know, Bobby Jones was the greatest amateur of all time. He felt that it was so important that amateurs play a part in the Masters. We had three fine players representing amateur golf this week, and we wish them the very best. Well, Fred, we're joined by Bob Turner, who will serve as uh, Hideki's interpreter our new Masters champion, and of course, Dustin is here to present the green jacket. Dustin, your historic record-setting win in November is something we'll always remember. You're now part of the Masters Club, and we look forward to you wearing the green jacket for many years to come. Congratulations. Thank you. Hideki? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. You've made history with your wonderful win today. Can you tell us how it feels to be the first golfer from Japan to win the Masters? Yeah. I'm really happy. How much pressure did you feel out there? You looked calm, really, all day long. Things tightened on that second side. Did you, did you feel a little more nervous than what you looked like? It really didn't, my nerves really didn't start on the second nine. It was right from the start today oh, really? okay. and uh, right to the, to the very last putt. Bob, his uh, wife May, his parents are all back in Japan. His little girl, they're all watching this right now. You had friends that were waiting you for you behind the 18th green. Can you frame it for us? All of this, what's going on in your mind right now? やっぱり was thinking about them all the way around today and um, I'm really happy that uh, I played well for them. You know, we try to put it into words what this win means to Japan to have a Masters champion. How about having you do that. Can you tell us what it means to your country? Hopefully I'll be a pioneer in this and many other Japanese will follow and uh, I'm glad to be able to open the floodgates hopefully, and uh, 
many more will, will follow me. Bob, could you also ask Hideki, what was the key shot today, the moment that you really realized that you were going to win this tournament? The key shot. ジャパンのティーショットフェアウェイ行ったことが一番キーポイントじゃないかなと思ってます。ヘッドのフェアウェイ、ウェズマイティーショットで18。ウィソーアムトゥオールドクラブ。ウィソーアムトゥオールドク